Hello, chat. I am not only not late, in fact, I am early by two whole minutes. Because when I realized I was going to be late, I had changed the time. Because I have the power to do that. <laughs> also, a couple of sessions ago, somebody paid for the hospital for servitors. And since I'm here, now we've done that. There you go. And uh, I apparently do need to build way more of this stuff. Because there's, there's a lot of these open, open things. So I should probably get to that. Right, well, let's get through some of the special events. The Charters Guild staff are tied with the Protector. What? Didn't I already do that? I feel like I already did this. Did I not do this? I think I already did this. Wait, why can I go down to the surface? Is there something... Is there something for me to do on the surface? I thought there were like a bunch of uh, quest thingies here. Like, the, the map thingy was like, Oh, you require the Lord uh, Commissar Rogue Trader's uh, presence to do things. Or was that all a filthy, dirty lie? Victory awaits! Well, so far it does look like a filthy, dirty lie. This, uh, hmm. Well, they've cleaned the place up. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of people working here, mind you, but... I won't you know, tolerate it's... weakness. Oh, no, never mind. Yep, yeah, no, never mind. We, uh, we, we still haven't actually uh, fixed the place up. Those are uh, unfortunate. It's very, very time. unfortunate. Okay, well, you know... Kiawagama, it's, it's only a super, super, duper, ultra important forge world. I see no particular reason why we should get rid of all of the heretical sacrifice cauldrons that are scattered across the place. Alright, uh, events... Nothing. So may maybe, uh, maybe this is, uh, Foundstone, Giannis, Kawagama... Okay, yeah, that, that was actually all of it. Alright, fair enough. And I can't do these before I go there. Right, so I should be heading to Weeaboo, Weeaboo 4 next, right. Well, whilst I'm at it, I should be building some more stuff. Building, 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 hooray, hooray. I don't know how you unlock things. Maybe I just need to build more stuff to unlock things. Uh, requirement, provisions, dogmatic 15. I don't know if that's very useful. Uh, complac complacency for all colonies. Maglev, uh, Railways, Explorator, Efficiency, Complacency, Dirty Bureaucracy, Profit Factor, and Quenchable Greed. I do like Profit Factor, so let's build uh, Unquenchable Greed, I like that. Capella Biologist, Profit Factor, Chemicals. Xenotech Plasteel Mechanisms. I feel like I've got a lot of all of those. Yeah, I got a lot of those. Dargonus. Genetic Mercy. The genetic purges will be stopped. Oh, I see. Holy Prophet. Ooh, nice. Nine people, three security for all colonies. I like that. Let me give me that because I feel like security is something I'm I'm sort of lacking. Efficiency. Envirodomes. Ooh, do we do we need that? Ergonomics. Four percent hit chance. That's sort of nice. Minus ten percent toxin damage. Ah. I don't need plasteel, do I? No, I really don't. Complacency and security. Well, they do kind of bitch at me often, so fair enough. Alright, filthy, dirty bastards. What other work needs the rogue trader's personal attention? I think I was going up... Was it? 
Was it here or was it here? I feel like it was up here. Right, that has adamantium. So that's green. No, I don't think I own it. Okay. Well, I do need adamantium pretty badly. Uh, Lord Captain, the near do wells from the Org crew are reporting we've reached the Nola Septum System, where a Promethium refining hive Sentinel Pride is located. What's that? Bend my, bend my mother over the golden throne. Oh, okay. Emperor Preserves, Lord Captain. The entire system is darker than the inside of a Grox's arse. The local star, it's, it's kind of gone. <laughs> now that you mention it, it is kind of gone. What nonsense! Does it not vanish from the sky without a trace? But unless my eyes are deceiving me, Lord Captain, Sentinel's Pride is an object of strategic importance to the Court of Genesee. It alone covers the Prometheum needs of the entire Protectorate. It's not difficult to figure out what happened. The damned Xenos had their work cut out for them, but by the throne they succeeded. This does not mean we can leave the important strategic assets for them to plunder. I suggest we do send your quarter a favor and salvage the remains for Prometheum. Now the system is missing its star. We need to see if there are Xenos in that frozen world and show our suspicions before we could fun and should our suspicions be confirmed, exterminate them. If you disagree, let me remind you that the Pectorate of one of the rogue trains, the Coronas Expanse, has lost several billions of its subjects. Can you be certain that the same won't happen to Dargonus or another world? Uh, yes, yes, I, I, I know. You don't need to convince me. You, you really don't. That rogue trader, would you like to do this? Yes, 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 I would like to do this. In fact, I am here specifically to steal her adamantium riches. There you go. And uh, probably just destroy refugee ships. Right, just grab that. Ignore the refugees. Maybe I should quick save first. New information has arrived, Lord Captain. We managed to detect a residual heat signature on one of the continents of Sentinel's Pride. There is no clear indication of its origin. The crew is waiting for further instruction, praying for the souls of the deceased with extraordinary zeal. Okay. Hum. Mm -hmm. We should check it out. It will be done, Lord Captain. Is there anything else you desire? Dispatch rescue teams. I've got loads of Prometheum. Lord, it's clear the rescue shuttles have been dispatched to the suggested evacuation points and the likely location of hidden bunkers. Is there anything else you desire? Sure. Drill for some Prometheum whilst we're here. Why not? You know, I, I figured we'd have to do, like, one or the other. I figured it would be one of those video games, but it's like, Oh no, sir, you can only rescue the people or the Prometheum. We don't have enough boats for both. Despite, of course, the fact that drilling for Prometheum will require vastly different boats than getting refugees off the planet. You know, I feel as if the... Pl if the world's sun disappeared, it it'd be worse than than snow and ice. Like, I, I feel like this entire place would already be coated. And I feel like this would be an extraordinarily hostile environment. None shall stand in my way. I like this guy. He's just standing out there. Like, none of us have any sort of, like... I mean, we should require spacesuits here. Like, surely. I mean, fuck. Challenge for me? Even if the air is breathable, which is debatable in and of itself, it should be so fucking freezing cold it would burn our fucking lungs out. I mean, trust me, having experienced pretty heavy-duty cold myself, that shit ain't pleasant. Like, that Your is actually physically inevitable. painful. Follow my lead. I have failed my kin. Oh look, it's a person popsicle. <laughs> a person popsicle. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> okay, that was <laughs> that was kind of weird awaits. looking. <laughs> I just 
Like, bad people, pew pew. And then they all thought just Too running boss. for a simple monkey. Mm. Like, n not, not, not rushing necessarily too weakness. much, you know. They're just kind of walking after them. Oh, no. I have been ambushed. Ah, uh, more of these fuckers. Ah, uh, more chimeras, too. Smite the Xenos! God, so many chimeras. At some point in the distant future, I simply must... I, I simply must come up with some sort of, I, may. I don't know, organization for my people. Something like, hey, when we are entering into areas that we have literally no information about whatsoever, move carefully whilst covering one another, instead of what I appear to be doing, I which is just running forward, monkey. not caring whatever what happens, then falling into ambush if after I ambush. Must. Like, I really feel like there are preventative trying, measures we monkey. could be taking to avoid some of this. this we, are, is beneath we, are, we are simply just not really embracing to the fullest extent of their possibilities. Oh, thank you. you to bow. I'm not in what an I'm in rage. The game has gotten better uh, at the whole, like, the AI keeps shooting itself thing, but... Uh, it's it's still not perfect, shall we say? It still has Swift a couple of issues here and there. Now, maybe my pew 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 gun will actually be better served here. I believe so. I understand your intent. Boost pew 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 gun, and then pew pew pew. If it serves your cause. <laughs> Uh, not too bad. If I must. Right, he's gonna die from the dot. Service guaranteed. I will endure. Mm, Beastmaster. I wonder if he enjoys the touch of geckos as well. You never know these days. You'll regret this. It's nothing. All right, Argenta, I see you're uh, leaking again. You seem to enjoy being poisoned. Clearly enough. I'll do it. Faith without deeds is worthless. Wait. No. No, that was that was the wrong way to do it, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I love how it kind of just shakes in and out of existence as it shield activates, then deactivates, then activates, then shield deactivates, and activates. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is very retarded. That is very, very retarded. Ah, uh, Agenta. Please proceed. Continue your activities. This is why I was chosen. Thank you. Doubt is for the weak. Unfortunately, I was kind of hoping that you would uh, plonk it just hard enough to knock off its shield there. That did not happen. Nothing I can't do. Uh, first of all, it won't be the end of chapter. You still have more after that. Okay. Uh, read Fox Media. Howdy, Arch. It's a growing season. Time to prep the garden. Is it? God. You're luckier than I am. It's still snowing here. This has been one of the longest... I'm going to miss that so bad. Yeah. Archer's accuracy has been absolutely, truly dreadful this entire campaign. I'm, Be careful I'm not, not even sure why. I mean, it just... His... His, his actual, like... Like, you know, uh, ballistic skill isn't that bad. And yet he seemingly just can't hit anything, ever. <laughs> It's it's remarkable. Me. If you insist, Lord Captain. That was a nice heavy funk. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. You just Stop can't hit shit. Me. And I, I don't even I don't even know why. Okay, well, you Come just get me. you know, take the hit from the camera, that's fine. Can you suck that person's soul out? You can. Good girl. Uh, what a 
pleasure. We'll do. Heal Argenta. I don't like how that icon looks a lot like the set people on fire icon, but of I course. will say. It will be done. Knock off shield. An exemplary strike. Victory is imminent. And kill. Good one. It is on our own because still snowing trimble. here. Like, this has been one of the shittiest winters I can fucking remember. It, it just doesn't end. It just actually does not fucking end for some reason. I move swiftly to strike. We've had several decently short winters now, but this one, I know, I know. This tedium really is Really not me. this one. If it serves your cause. Finish those off. I am not your Xenos pet, Another soul slips beyond the veil. I've apparently arrived Force at an area with uh, a lot less difficulty. <laughs> oh, okay. Cain cleanses the body. I feel like you should have died from that. Escapes us. Horror awaits. Horror. The horror of my furry prison awaits you. I'll do it. Each stretch <laughs> is a prayer. Good job, Argenta. Guided by you, faith. You literally kicked the abomination to death. I'm, uh, I'm proud of you. Faith without deeds is worthless. So this kind of works out to be the same thing. In As a way, the emperor it? commands, none oh. can escape the emperor's judgment. Nice. The longest and coldest and harshest winter to the stars. in man's memory. Unending darkness. Only occasionally interrupted by rain. Let us see what I found. I mean, fair enough, it is in my way. Norway, but still. I rise to the occasion. I'd like it if the, if summer would arrive at some point. I don't feel like I'm asking too much. The rest of the world gets summer. In fact, on the daily news, they're like, hey, hey, did you know that there's like a heat wave going on down here? Something. Like, I'm sure there is. <laughs> a trivial task. It's about time. This is why I consider the whole global warming thing to just be like a... More or less a universally beneficial factor. Sure, the Spaniards will burn to death, but... Never I've never been me. that fond of the Spaniards. No? They're Spanish, goddammit. There's something wrong with them. They're not European enough, in my opinion. Speaking of European... The moment I sit down to stream, I feel the hunger gnawing at me yet again. Slowly, I am warping into dev. Fun. Mmm. Delicious raisin bun. Victory awaits! Unexpected result. Should we be clearing the makeshift barricades? Um, I feel like they might have been created for a reason. Mm, like, I don't know. The evil robot servitors up there, for example. Color mm. the Speak a long talk. No, just an idea. Mmm, servitors, eh? Alright. Well, um, apparently, hold on. Sins hidden in the heart. The songs of my ancestors speak of stars. I woke up with a feeling of wonder, as if a field of flowers was blossomed nearby. I won't heed your oh, cries go. of mercy. 
I was wondering if all of them would be subtly off-center, like a certain previous group, where all of the characters were just not quite hittable, you know? Indicating that the video game wishes me to engage in conversation with my opposition. Isn't this a job for the Before serfs? engaging them in aggressive conversation. Um, okay. All, yep, all of my shots are slightly off-center. Interesting. Wait, if I do that... If I must. Will her... No, that will not count as her next turn. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Yep. <laughs> yep. Because the enemy are all slightly off-centered, the uh, Black Light Arc uh, Strange Gun Thing Bomb will not actually work on them. She is mildly unfortunate and annoying. Oh, well. Will do. <laughs> what an unfortunate turn of fate. Ah. Surprisingly soft. For being frozen, I gotta say they're still moving relatively well. If somewhat slowly. You know, like Adel Blood, my lad. Try and tested tactics are the best ones. I will do my duty. It is time it for you be to become face tank. Target well struck. Hmm, Cassia. Emperor, give me strength. This is a pretty excellent me? opportunity for you to pump out some captain? pretty solid AOE damage, isn't it? Help me, Lord Captain. Or, or, or. Cut the noises they make. Doubt is for the weak. I'll do it. This is why I was chosen. Faith without deeds is worthless. As the Emperor commands, I act. It reminds me of Kibbs in the weirdest way. Right? I mean, it does, doesn't it? Doubt uh, is for the weak. Yeah, it really does. I am—I am not the only one who thinks this. I swear to Jesus, it really does remind me of Gibbs. He makes those noises. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. he does. Fire is the answer. <laughs> I shall God damn not it! Fear. I don't have time for this. Uh -huh. hmm. Already Kill. done. He makes groaning noises too. I was kind of hoping the flames would kill them. King is Ken. Are there any 40k themed H games? Uh, yes. Yes, there is. There, uh, <laughs> there's a fan made Just one. Um, target. This tedium is beneath. I hear you moving. No. I think it's called Inquisitor Trainer or something like that. Inquisitorial Trainer or something like that. Yes. Another soul I think that's the name the of it. It's a, uh, a fan made game. It's on Patreon. So, yeah, there are actually uh, 40k themed hentai uh, games. They do exist. They're relatively Stop infrequent, it. but, yep, they do exist. They who descend the future on the battlefield. <laughs> They explode, don't they? You don't frighten me. Pick up all the goods. I won't tolerate weakness. Hmm. A garland of two small skulls. Follow my lead. Did somebody have fun decapitating babies here recently? It's like, okay. The Emperor doesn't seem to be interested in helping us. Our son disappeared, and it's about to get really, really, really fucking chilly. What are we gonna do? A new any, any bright ideas? 
Somebody rises, raises their hand up. Well, maybe the Emperor is displeased with us. Maybe he's just a little bit peeved that I we have haven't been giving him, uh, None shall you know, the, 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 proper, the proper worship and obeisances. Maybe if we gave him something a bit more valuable, he'd be nicer to us. All right, Thomas. Well, what do you suggest as more valuable? It's about time. Looks over at a woman holding a baby in her hands. Well, now hear me out here. And apparently I they heard him out, and apparently they, uh, they quite enjoyed his ideas, I guess. Hmm. Well, uh, unfortunate for all the little babies, I guess, but... Uh, Compared to naval service, that was barely a challenge. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Halt, I noticed something. Oh. Didn't I, uh... Victory awaits! I was about to say, didn't I come from here? Hmm. Done. A new challenge for me. The Dark Eldar are being the glass holes again. I'll lay claim to the stars. As is only natural. Hmm. The pale bodies of priests can be seen crushed underneath it. Well, it is Call as they say. Not until the last priest is so crushed by the last ice sensation. block can we ever tr truly be free. Somebody I was an avid, uh, weakness. avid diary keeper here. I feel like you'd had more important things to do when the world is ending than writing your diary, but... Actually, you it's know, come to think time. of it, maybe you don't. I mean, if the world is about to end anyway, uh, what, what else have you really I got to occupy your time yours. with? For now. What's really going to be all that I more important at that point? I am not pet, monkey. I'll wipe you from the face of the galaxy. I will revel in your pain. I remember, wasn't there a movie that I had that as a concept? Not a hmm. servitor. So, do you get a free shot if I do this? I hear you moving. No more. A pleasure. You don't. Okay, so I shouldn't use her free turn for that. All if right. it serves your cause. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Corono, are you planning to play Ted and Victor after the O4 patch comes out? Uh, is there a O4 patch? I am planning to play it again. It's always been on the docket. It's just been monkey. buried in other stuff for a while now. But yeah, I'm absolutely playing to, planning to play uh, Ted and Victor again. It's a fucking amazing game. It's one of my favorite games in recent times. So yes, definitely going to play that again. Uh, Elevation is yet again fucking with my dark light blasty gun of absolute death and destruction. Mm, tragedy. <sighs> if I must. You must. You're just gonna fucking have to, okay? This tedium is beneath you. me. The you will not withstand my vengeance. I quite like the dark light gun. It is quite brilliant. My prescience has failed me. What is this foreboding? Mm, On it. Make his head pop. Be gone. There you go. Uh, ben, how did you even get introduced to Kyle anyways? Oh, that's a good story. Kyle begged me to come on his little podcast years and years ago. Begged profusely. Couldn't stop begging, actually. Piercing shot. Oh, I don't even know. Your misery is my treatment. When I was first blowing up on the internet, 
and recognizing an inferior species. Why did I not foresee this? Oh, you've got magic, do you? Well, I don't like that very much. If you could please not, let's beat you to death as quickly That's as possible. That's not the Seneschal's job. What? Someone else can do this. Really? You couldn't just walk past, idiot? I'd rather not. No, apparently not. Okay, well, thank you very much, Seneschal, you useless piece of shit. My reckoning my will be swift. Hunger. It was an act of Thank mercy on my behalf. Stop mocking me. Your misery is my treat. This is a unworthy soul. Far shittier position than I'd thought I'd find myself in. If I'm Forge ahead. Honest. All too easy. Oh, Genta. God, these Medusas have a lot of hit points. I don't like them very much. Okay, Yerelets, you found yourself Suits suddenly without purposes. a whole lot of protection, if any at all, in fact. And, hey, hello. That's a splash damage target, if I've ever seen one. You watch, Handler! <laughs> Mm, shooting up the stairs is going to be weird, isn't it? Uh, actually, not that weird. I have four stacks of versatility. Okay, so I was recommended to use this instead, claiming that it would give me a three burst instead of one. I, don't, I only think it gives me. It only gives me two, right? Yes, it only gives me two, as far as I can tell. The As stairs the were gonna commands, be gay and block all my shots because, uh, makes the number of taxi will be right of them. Uh, right, I understand. Yes, that one's great, but it needs to be used. Mm. All right, I find myself in a bit of a dirty crossfire the here, don't coming. I? Yes, yes, kind of an unfortunate little crossfire situation. Isn't this a job for the oh. serfs? If I may. <clears throat> I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Almost like this was some sort of, I don't know, trap or something. Intended to introduce me to these enemies. There is no attack limit. You know what, I'll that sounds like a good idea to put on our gem. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. Faith without deeds is worthless. Right. Bert. Bert again. I'll do it. <laughs> well, that was uh, significantly less damage than I was kind of hoping and anticipating. Uh, do these just have a lot of armor or something? And our friend like that should have Hold done more. On. I was expecting more. How I was expecting better. Dare you! I move as if unseen. How about... If it serves your cause. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. I understand your intent. Any sex, yep. They might just simply have a ridiculous I... amount My of armor. My patience has failed me. Make what it of head low. Oh. turn a fit. And you can heal yourself. What, of course. God, it is nice having healing again, I will say. I've suffered worse. Don't step on the mine, please, Adelard. At your and call. <laughs> An exemplary strike. Victory is imminent. I took care of this one. Here we go. King cleanses the body. Their death won't be easy. I don't like the eye burst thingy. <laughs> Never wavered in the face of adversity. There's more damage than I'm comfortable with. Not a problem for me. One more. You, my emperor. Yeah, it's, it's got to be just that they have a lot of fucking armor, I think. 
Well, fair enough, fair enough. That's why you bring plasma weapons. In fact, I really should use the, uh, the that thing on them, but, eh, such is life. It's nothing! Ah, Genta, my dear, dear darling. You know what? If that's how it's gonna be, I might as well... Huh. The flamethrower did more damage. Okay, now I'm just kind of confused. Maybe they're just, like, a, a strong against bullets? Doubtis for the weak will be eradicated. Well, 130 odd bullets later, and it does die, so. Uh. Hmm. There you go. I figured I could see you from all that. <laughs> Isn't this a job for the serfs? Emperor, deliver us! Do not give in to emotions if it serves your cause. Fear not, Irelet. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. You'll be fine. You just gotta kill that one. Another soul slips beyond the veil. Uh, turn I'll around and kill that one. Pain tenfold. Uh. Farewell. Brilliant. This can't be. And I didn't step on any mines either. Oh, too hard for a simple monkey. Victory awaits. How complicated could a fucking mine be? A strange meaty growth the size of a human head is clinging to the skull and neck of a man. Hmm. Do not look. Uh oh. Whoopsie. I'll lay claim to the stars. All right. The Dark Eldar have themselves a brand new toy. That being probably why they came to this world. Abelard, I've been meaning to ask. How... Feel... Awful without her? Enough, Tlus. We have a duty to the new rogue trader. You would do well to focus on that. If you keep your mind busy you will have less opportunity to fill it with awful things. None are uh. better at searching. Bro Adelblad. Class is all whingy and whiny. Don't you miss our old Miesa? None shall stand in my hey. way. What's Don't that? you miss her? She used to you know, pet me and stuff. This new My one. Success was inevitable. He doesn't seem to like ugly brown women. It's about time. Adelblad doesn't care. Adelblad's actually quite fine by that. When the faithful are idle, heresy grows. Lock and load. Yeah, there's a lot of dark elder on this planet. Let me educate time on the die monkey. A lot of goddamn Dark Eldar on this planet. Almost like they came here with some sort of goal in mind or something weird. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. No, I want... Ah, it's out of range. God damn it. That would actually have been a wonderful line nuke opportunity. Oh well. You cannot shoot up there. No, you can't. Do I want to send you running up there without any support? Swift sure. And silent. Why not? Irlet still hasn't paid fully for all of the inconvenience she brought cause, me, so I see no reason not to treat her particularly me. harshly every now and then. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey.
I understand your intent. She has found herself deserving of such harsh treatment. If it serves your cause. Ancestors, guide me. God damn it. God, really, really, he's... Um, Why'd you get to survive on solid lead points? Because, see, now I want to go up there, too. Right, sure, this will work out fine. 75% hit I chance. Do. It's about a 35% hit chance for me. Yep, there you go. I have a... Uh, God damn it. My gun has got to be cursed not. or something, surely. This this isn't natural. Not my specialty. It is not normal to miss this frequently. All too easy. My fucking ballistic skill isn't even that bad. It's 70, for God's sake. Well, 75, actually. God heavens, help me. It should not be this difficult to hit something. It really should not. Suits my purposes. That's not the that Seneschal's job. Literally one square out of range. Ah, uh, worth the, worth the attempt. You are mine now. I am a prey taker. Your death is approaching. No! These ruby flushes are choking me! Rejoice <laughs> in battle! I'll do it. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. This I is why I... your heart out for this. Eh, it's more like it. I'm not entirely sure why the primary Dark Elder weapon escapes is a fucking water pistol. <laughs> I've seen worse battles than this in my time. I feel like they could get better. It will be done. Even if they apparently don't try. At your back and call. <sighs> You've unleashed my fury. Help me, Lord I'll Captain! Remember. You know, Cassia. A work for a flesh crafter. You don't need quite as much help as you think you do. Deliver us. I think she just wants attention. If only that were possible. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Anything else? Then again, little cinnamon bun is worthy of attention. Why did I not foresee this? That is why she is cinnamon bun. For if Cinnamon Bun is there not worthy is of attention, in the Empyrean. who is? On it. Was... Was that you? Was. You will pay an even greater price. Hmm. Right. I forgot about that. I move swiftly to strike. Actually, hold on. This is... I am perfect. not your... Oh, are you moving? Black. No more. This can't be over. I don't know how the fuck you managed to miss that second shot, but... If it serves your cause. I don't know how you managed to miss that one either, but Cut good job, I guess. Script. A fine... A fine, fine piece of Let's work. see how they respond to this. Not a problem for me. 88% chance. Yay. It took a while, but I eventually Suits hit something. my purposes. God help me. You'd think I'd be using a battleship cannon instead of a fucking plasma gun compared to by my hit ratio. On the art of pain. Battleship cannons, in case you're wondering, were not actually very accurate. In fact, they were ridiculously inaccurate. For the longest time. Like a hit ratio of like a couple of percent was considered uh, pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. As the Emperor commands, I act. <laughs> this is why people were arguing over whether or not they should have fewer but Mara larger guns. Awaits. Or several smaller guns. 
Debate that, uh, debate that eventually, of course, went in the favor of the larger guns for obvious purposes, as they were simply just better at shooting over My the long distances. Is at the fall. Indeed. Though even then, we continued <sighs> using tiny little retarded uh, small be backup <sighs> side guns for far, far too long. At your beck and call, one fewer target. Human military history is filled of, with no, genuinely retarded are compromises. That only turned out to be as retarded as they were in hindsight. If you Largely because captain. of vast monetary interests that really wanted to maintain their interests Stop over the expense of actually, me. you know, making something useful. I wonder why this could happen. It's not like we see any current yet examples anything of this in video gaming or anything, right? Brace yourself, Avalon. Uh, did I do that? Sorry about that, Adelard. Perish for this affront. Sorry, sometimes... Sometimes you did us, you know, mind cancer gets a little... Gets a little spready. It, it happens. Just be glad that she didn't summon any demons this time around, okay? You know? You gotta take the rough with the smooth when it comes to Idira. Doubt is for the weak. Even if most of the time it's probably going to be the rough. Does that? I'll do it. Yes, that stacks for the next turn, I think. Good. Isn't this a job for the serfs? You've unleashed my fury. Hmm. Cover me. <gasps> do you see that? Farewell. Were the Cassia nerfs truly necessary? I mean, now she can't even kill a unit in one ability anymore. A trivial task. It's tragic. They fear to look at me because of my appearance. I'll lay I fear claim to look to at the them stars. because of their rotten-colored souls. I enjoyed Cassia back in the day when she would literally just wipe out the entire enemy team by herself. Now it's almost like she requires help or something. Terrible. Victory awaits. I mean, who wants game balance? Especially in a single-player game. Oh, that looks important. And I won't how do I get down there? Weakness. How do I get down there? Oh. Do I just walk, perchance? Yes, apparently I just walk. Okay, well... Loot. A new challenge for me? You claim they will loot here, video game, but I don't actually see any lying video game. Still not entirely sure why I'm here, but I'm sure Incendia Corda will be pleased to hear that I looted her word for the world for her. Called a few Dark Elder, stole her Prometheum, grabbed her populars. Turn them into general issue duty servitors and slaves aboard my Follow own vessel. My lead. I'm sure she will be quite pleased with my achievements. Even if she will not admit it. And will instead probably yell at me. And accuse me of stealing her shit. Mm. None shall stand in my way. Do I even need to kill them anymore? Eh, might as well. Two Star Trekkers, two predators poised for a charge. Fear not, Void Sailor, and the All Father be praised. Well, there's the Space Wolf, Zeger. Well, this looks like some kind of ambush or something. 
There's a lot of these that those going on these days. Leave the hull strewn across the stars. Another salvo. Hmm. Yum, 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 yum. I've got a sneaking suspicion there's going to be a whole lot of um... torpedoes locked. Torpedoes in my my future. I'm afraid. Fire the launch batteries. Is there any way to avoid that? Hmm. I'm not so sure. I think this is just generally going to suck no matter what I do, actually. Well, my best bet is probably just to turn really, really ridiculously hard and hope that that somehow works out. And reinforce my assword shields. Damn it. I was hoping I could Service at least guarantees one. citizenship. Where are you going, little boat? There's not really all that many enemies over there. That's probably gonna hit me in the ass. Yep. Oh well, my shield sucked it up. Not a big deal. Now, if some of you could please move in front of those torpedoes, that would be lovely. No? Okay. Maybe you? No, we are just going to continue to produce a truly astonishing quantity of torpedoes. Which have far better turning radius than I was hoping for. Well, if I can use my turn the torpedoes thingy, I might be able to get something useful out of those. Close enough for government work. Close enough indeed. Fire right now. God damn you and your Stupid shields. Can that... No. Okay. I was hoping maybe that would knock out, uh, knock out their shields, but it does not. Alright, little sword class. If you would be so kind as to actually fire your weaponry, that would be lovely. Okay, well, that's one of your weapons. Gratitude, I guess. What a possum. Hi, Arch. Will you play Space Marine 2? Probably, yes. Um, if it ever comes out, as uh, it seems to be kind of stuck in pseudo-development hell at the moment. I also heard, apparently, that they were going to buy themselves back from Embracer Group, or some sort of such thing with the change in the direction of the development team, so... I don't even know what the fuck they're doing right now, but they seem to be a little bit confused as to what exactly is going on. Hopefully they'll get back to actually developing the their video game, because I think it was supposed to be out already, if I recall correctly. This one's going down. That does not actually make me make it any Fire easier to hit it, does batteries. it? Nope. No, it somewhat tragically does not. Another salvo. Nice. Unleash our vengeful salvo. I'm not entirely sure this sword class is necessarily that helpful, but, um... I mean, it occasionally produces some pew-pew sounds in the general direction of the enemy, I guess, so... Moral support.
They really like their torpedoes. Deathwing? Deathwing. No, I'm pretty sure it was um, the Spaceman 2 developers that were going through something weird. Well, you just die. None oh. will lament their demise. Suck it. Dodge that. Um, nom, nom. Yeah, whatever Onward. I do here, I'm going to be... Eating a face load of torpedoes anyway, so it really is just this a question of choosing down. which face load to eat. Cycle forward shields, um that's out of range. If I increase it by two, yeah, it will still be out of range. But maybe Their forward yes. ship is now a barrier pyre. Now I just need to find a way to get across half the galaxy towards the last remaining boat whilst dodging the one, two, three torpedo salvos. Four salvos in the water, actually. I do hope Spaceman 2 is good, though. I'm a little bit worried because um, there was that whole um, the pride flag wearing chick who's like, I am the lead narrative designer. And le then later announced that, no, she actually wasn't. She just um, made that up for reasons, I guess. Set the course. There never really was, like, a satisfactory explanation as to why that happened. But hopefully she is not as involved as she maybe uh, thought she was or indicated that she was. Because I always become a little bit nervous around those kind of people. Particularly in 40k. There's not really a universe that lends itself well to progressivism. A lot of awesome gifts. Five Archcast memberships. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> got Boog. You did get Boog. And Draconis as well. Hmm. I can't believe Boog and Draconis aren't already members. I feel a little bit disappointed in both of you, actually. Ah, yes, Primaris. That's a good point. I do hate that it's Primaris, too. But I guarantee you that's because of Games Workshop. Games Workshop is like, no, no, no. If you're going to do anything in our setting now, it's going to have to be Primaris. Because to them, that's all they really care about now. It's uh, reselling the entirety of the Space Marine... Uh, the entirety of the Space Marine catalog again. Everything else is uh, kind of a distant secondary tertiary priority to GW. This one's going down. Torpedoes locked! I see no reason why I shouldn't do that. Fire right now! All right, come on, little sword class. Prove yourself to be of worth to me. Kill that last frigate. Perish in the void. Good boy. Heathens and cravens. Fit for the fun for Lancius adults. Well, that was a profitable departure. That's where I was. I have so many points now. 
I might as well start making some safe paths. Because with 14 points, I got loads. There. Now I won't be annoyed by quite so many random events as I travel through the galaxy, which is quite nice. Dargonas also has like 50 fucking events going on. All right, Dargonas. Bring all your countless derpy little troubles to me. It's not like I'm busy or anything. It's not like I have an entire galactic empire to run or nothing. No, 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 no. Tell me about your woes and your planetary troubles. Tell me about your poor harvests and how you can't shit straight anymore. Raiders from the Reaving Tempest Cabal are pillaging the region, terrifying the inhabitants with their unpredictableness and elusiveness. Mm. Trap the Ducati with live bait. I like that. Sacrificing a few dozen people, the dynasty servants succeed in catching and destroying the Xenos. Well, there you go. Problemo Solvo. Militia Navy. That sounds like a weird thing to do. Security for all colonies, plus two. That is nice, though. I like that. Was that all? Was that, was that all you dragged me over here for? Lord Captains, the minds of Weeaboo, uh, whatever, are once again in turmoil. The death of level ZinDZ05, the wardens have discovered a mountain of mutilated bodies. Normal. As if crushed by millstones to the mining machines. All the dead are convicts. The guards believe that there is a cult of heretics operating in the ranks of slaves, offering human sacrifices. The convicts themselves claim that this atrocity was committed on the order of the superintendent to rid the prison of the more inconvenient prisoners. The superintendent tried to reason with the mob of slaves, but was mauled instead. His desiccated remains were found inside the cells where the prisoners were being tortured during interrogations of the strange convicts. The wardens have managed to isolate the rebels inside the mining facility, but the assault would result in high losses of workforce. On the other hand, the slaves are ready to lay down their weapons, cease this violence, and repent if the rogue trader would only demonstrate some compassion towards their plight, possibly by reforming some of the more severe punishments. Mm. Then who killed the people found in the mines? Unknown. The riot made the investigation more difficult. Maybe it was the work of the superintendent, or maybe there is to say a cell of the Cult of the Final Dawn operating among the prisoners. But there is an oddity on the few pics that the wardens have managed to scrounge together. Using your imagination a little, you can see a certain pattern in the scattered bodies, one that is remotely similar to the one these difficult prisoners have been drawing. What do you think? Shireen, if the government are pack of wardens cannot handle their duty, should they not take the place of their wards? And could there not be a worthy administrator among those who oppose them, those who could do better? A mob of commoners is more than noble, a man who had been attempting to reason with them? How awful! Perhaps the underground madness has spread among them and has them assumed a new form, turning them into monsters in the process. It would be cruel to kill them if this is the case. It is much more humane to dissect their brains in order to well-meaningly reduce their ferocity and inclination towards disobedience. Thank you. Uh, we don't need to hear from you, Argento. It's fine. Uh, there we go. We shall dissect their brains, of course. Only natural. Cinnamon bun says cut their brains to pieces. Cinnamon buns will be done. I don't care about the consequences. Me cinnamon bun wishes for it to be thus, and thus it shall be thus. Simple dimple. Ooh, yet more security. I like this. Yes, loads and loads of security. I like security. Security, good. Heresy is the question. Inferno. Fire is the answer. <laughs> But why are they locked? Even more security for all colonies? Why, yes. I like it. Uh, 
uh, Hugo Fugi says, Boog and Draconis betray like Kib or Dev or Rex, all good Skaven. Yes, yes. I don't know if that makes them good. I think that might make them bad. I th think that might make them shameful. Right, we'll keep... We'll keep, like, ten points in case I need to, uh... Make a new path or something. Right, there's adamantium up there. I want it. Put the cult on the surveillance. My cinnamon bun wishes it. Thus it shall be so. Well, the possum gives another five Archcast memberships. Thank you very much, Opossums. And fading fast. So, Arch, tell me something you think is good to come out of the story setting of 40k since it changed the logo to that awful looking sticker. Thanks. You don't ask for much, do you? Huh, hmm. Do I need any more plasteel? No, I've got fucking ass loads of plasteel. Twelve adamantium, Jesus. Okay, that is amaze balls. Uh, definitely extract them that. Yep, that is great. And yes, this is the uh, this is the this is the place. I think something good to come out of it. Ah. Captain of Borneo Voyager has passed through a cloud of cosmic dust of an unknown origin. Unfortunately, the dust particles were covered with an icy shell that has frozen into a thick sheet on the Voyager's hull, blocking some of the technical vents. It will take time for the servitors to clear the ice, until then our maneuverability will be somewhat reduced. Alright. Oh, uh, maybe not. Ah, well, then I've already been here. Hmm. Something good that came out of 40k. Uh, this game. There you go. Trust in the Navigator's Town. Of course, Cinnamon Bun will always read me through. This game. That's, uh, yep, there you go. This game is the good thing that came out of uh, 40k after they changed the logo. There you go. That's it. Want more? Oh, you're going to have to go look somewhere else. Was this the planet? This wasn't the planet either, was it? Nope, no it wasn't. I have completely forgot where that planet was. Okay, well, never mind. Boog says, I've been gifted membership for three months now. Lol, thanks for the gifts. Lazy Boog, lazy! Mm, a Xenotech. Do I need a Xenotech? Lapis Mortis? I don't actually need... The Lap of Death. Okay, you know what? Let me visit that too. I'll give them yet more military gear to prove themselves worthy. And Lord Possum has gifted five arts. Because membership... Oh, yeah, I read that one. Uh, Shattered... Well, Ashworld... Nah, this, no, this isn't any of that. God, uh, God help me. And like Vaiku, Arch, been playing Pathfinder, but Arthur of the Righteous, on your recommendation, can't help noticing all the important NPCs is female. Would you say it is woke, but good? Mm. There, there is, there is a lot of important females, I will admit, and it is certainly a diverse video game, shall we say. But, seeing as it is a quality video game, I'm fine with it. I was like, okay. So, why are there so many... Why are there so many... Red things there? Maybe they are red things that I have already interacted with and just fucking forgotten about. That's entirely possible, I suppose. Alright then, you piece of shit prison planet. Tell me your dumbass worries. What's wrong? Malcontents? Slander? Ooh. Well, those are terrible things indeed. Definitely worthy of a rogue trader's attention. Lord Captain, the astropathic choir have caught glimpses of the horrifying visions coming from Weeaboo 5. 
or six, or seven. Something has breached the colony from underground. Soon after, the new sector of deep tunnels had been put into operation, it was overrun by monsters. They lurk in the darkness, swarm in the shadows, attack quietly, and leave nothing in their wake, consuming flesh, plasteel, and rockrete. Ambles, then. The tearing of a thousand claws herald their approach, and desperate cries can be heard in silence of the tunnels. Praise be to the Golden Throne, these creatures do not seem interested in getting to the surface. However, they have seized several active minds and are doing Emperor only knows what. My advisors. The threat is unknown. Establishing the nature of the threat is the top priority. Collateral losses are insignificant. Requesting authorization to coordinate an offensive operation to be carried out by penal battalions in order to determine the nature of the attack. We have to block off this threat and protect the people. To do this, we must blow the tunnels up. But to make sure the plan works, it has to be done in zones currently occupied by this unknown enemy. I am sure that a dozen brave men can be found in the colony, only willing to accept the grace of martyrdom and ascend into the darkness with the explosives. Ooh. I like the idea of blowing things up. I quite enjoy that. But the thing is, they're probably ambles, which means that blowing up the tunnels is going to be completely pointless. So, Pascal, do your thing. The Russo's plan of Magos Hanamon has been constructed with the utmost logical perfection. Taking its efficiency and losses into account, the smaller groups have sacrificed in order to prevent the forces of a larger one. The Weirbu defensive squads met some swarm in the darkness. The monsters, insect clad in metal carapace, tore apart everything within their mandibles. The current side and that of caves lost cost many lives, but in the end, the end. The creatures were exterminated, and that a vile lair, not unlike a metallic crypt, has been ransacked and its treasures removed. Not ambles? Hmm. Not ambles? Are you sure they were not ambles? Captive Xenos? God, no. Jesus, fuck no. No. Ugh, how oh, disgusting. Craven's Bane. Diligent Cannoneers, Crentical and my chance. That's not bad. Prometheum. Pure blood, profit factor and efficiency. I like it. Ooh. Phlogiston, Plasteel, Adamantium. That's a lot of Plasteel and Adamantium. Which I've got quite a lot of, so I don't need there. But pure blood. The road trader may grant the convicts the right to buy with their labor the freedom of their children born in captivity. I like that. It's merciful and yet oppressive at the exact same time. Brilliant. Point Flanders dynasty was publicly insulted by the colony's governor. I... Kill him. <laughs> what? 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 No, no, what else did you expect? Of course. Rumors regularly through the colony that the road traders given in to the arch enemy's depravities. Uh, Purity programs. Mm. No, mass prayer services. I like that. The ministry of prayer services are able to dispel the fog of idle gossip and slander. See? See? That was fine. Right. Weeaboo. Are you happy now? Are we all content that we are doing our duties? Good. Next time, hopefully you won't be so nervous, weirdos. I like the idea of slaves being able to buy the freedom of their children. So that's a neat thing. You are born into captivity, but you do not necessarily need to stay in captivity so long as your mum and dad are properly productive, that is. Um, I have seven Flogiston. I don't... I don't need more Flogiston. Right. Now I think it's time to head to Foulstone, or Footfall. To see what exactly is going on there. Lord Captain, we have received a Vox message from Footfall. The Inquisition has declared martial law on the station due to the threat of malice extremists. Docking will require special permission, and even most of the asteroids have been cordoned off. The station's custodian, her ladyship Incendia Cora, sends her greetings and invites your lordship to disembark at the docks with a small retinue. Her enforcers will meet you there to escort you to another chamber for a private audience. Very well. As you wish, Lord Captain. 
That's fine. I mean, she could betray me, in which case I would be in deep shit, but... Relatively unlikely. In fact, let's make it more unlikely. Woofgar, come, woof with me. Uwugar? <laughs> Uwugar. Loading. Loading. There. All right. I claim to the stars. Did you at least, uh... Did you at least prepare, like, a proper welcome for One me? One day, I shall remind Ruvestum that he was ready to bury my fa Oh. All right, now I see, uh, the... The station is under new, more strident leadership. Good, good. Ah, yes, the sensor. It's very important that you bring the sensor to the burning. Ah, hang on. You survived the trial. How did you manage that? <laughs> How did you manage to survive the trial? I was hairbreadth away from the ser from servitorization, yes, but one of the patrols confirmed that I wasn't at the scene. What? Innocence? Innocence proves nothing. What about the girl impl implicated you? She testified against... I hope they turned her into servitor. Charged with the conspiracy against the servant of the Imperium and sentenced to burn. No less than she deserves. Good! Yes! Yes! If a woman brings false charges, the woman should be burned to the fire at the stake. It is, it is only right and correct, in my opinion, you know? Sometimes, harsh measures are required. Behold, noble, his supreme, glorious greatness, an arch of terror as footfall transforms before your very eyes. In the wake of your toil, this den of depravity will once again become a testament to the Emperor's greatness, as it was its original design. Does it bring you delight? I know better than to disagree in these circumstances. Um... Where is the, yes, yes, it fills me with holy light, good father. Please don't burn me, option. Hmm. All right, well, um, Pirate Dins Bilardo. Oh, that was, uh, oh, yeah, that was, that's old. Heresy. Yep, sure, redemption, fine. And here. A diary. Uh, your entire group of little dudes got, like, fucking munched and shit. I'm sorry. It's, it's what happens. Captain Virkel was a kind but fallible man. So was my brother in service, Gravik. So were the 4,822 pilgrims who boarded the Wasteland Wayfarer many years ago. It grieves me that their kindness failed the test that the Void presented them with. Let their death serve as a reminder to us. Corruption has many faces and can stain even the purest of souls. Thank you for the news, Lord Captain. Colony A-111649, or 3, excuse me, Minoris, is hereby officially declared fallen and lost. Well, I won't interrupt your uh, busy day of burning and general, uh, you know, pillaging and pilgrimaging, etc. Uh, have fun. I hope you find many, many heretics and that your bonfire remains resplendent with the corpses of countless presumably guilty individuals. And I do like the new decor. See, I am a considerable I proponent of hangings myself. You know, hanging is, is a good way to kill somebody, in my opinion. It's, it's quick, it's relatively merciful, you know, it's, it's just like, snap. If you do it correctly, it's actually pretty much painless because it separates your neck instantly. Now, it's a little bit more cruder than the guillotine, mind you, which would be my preferred method of execution, but hanging is a nice, relatively civilized way of killing people, so... Thumbs up. 
and it produces a lovely example that you can keep dangling around for an extended period of time, as not only the visual reminder will be ever present, but the smell as well will provide ample opportunity for- ooh. <laughs> Guilty! Burn him! Oh. <coughs> I, I like the delayed effects and everything. Alright, she's got herself a personal void. That's uh, a Rosaria, huh? Hmm. So, Jared, have you seen Star Wars Acolyte trailer? Looks like they're hiring people directly from Starbucks. Ooh, good. I heard it was going to be, um, hold on, I heard it was going to air soon, was it? Let me just check out real, real quick. Because, uh, of course, you know, some good new Star Wars. I've got to bring little Kibi or Rao along to suffer through the Star Wars. Um, June 4th. Fourth, eh? Ah, it's still a bit in the distance, eh? Tragic. I was hoping that the suffering of Kibet would be nearer at hand. Your supreme glorious greatness, the Arch of Terror von Valencius, Habity, I have been informed of your arrival. Exhaustion has crisscrossed incendious features with lines. It's like, God damn it, it's really tiring to burn all of these fucking peasants. <laughs> They keep, they keep pretending to be innocent. <laughs> oh. What is this abominable act his daughter is committing? There must be a reason. Examine Incendia. Only look, one look at Incendia, full dress uniform, shows that this has not been changed in many days. The collar is greasy and the laces are stained with sweat. The air is tinged with the smell of an inhaled stimulant that is used to give used to give Surf's the ability to work multiple watches without rest. Point at the man with the open skull. Uh, what's that? It sinks her silver spoon into the man's brain and slowly consumes the revolting morsel. Okay. I think something might be wrong here. Service guarantee. I must know the taste of a criminal's thoughts. It is how I learn to recognize their patterns. Hmm. 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 I see. Huh. Nice. Right, that's means clearly uh, engaged with the audience moment here. <clears throat> let's uh, let's all come together to judge her mental state. <laughs> what about Howard's of Fire Squads? That would work too, but it's really expensive. But it's a good rope. Not only is it reusable, but um, it's now very expensive to begin with. And hell, if you get a fancy rope, like one made out of Kevlar or some fiber bundles, you can keep using it for hundreds of executions. It's pretty good. Um, and <laughs> does, does it help? I have deepened my understanding of the petty and odious urges that drive the weak will to degeneracy. I have learned to see these urges in their eyes. If only you knew what it's like to be familiar with every shade of corruption that lurks in depraved souls. Well, um... You know, at least she's doing it for a reason. You yeah, know, there's an observable effect. Um, yeah, eating people's brains will, um, will, will help you determine their guilt. Um, good. You know, not the first thing about perceiving it, sensing it, peering into people's souls and seeing the heinous therein. But you do not know what it, you do not know what it's like to look at their faces and see the brand of their impure deeds. But I know it all too well, and none will escape my wrath. 
I've got this sneaking suspicion there's going to be very few people left on footfall after this. Uh, what's going on here? The Lord Inquisitor has bestowed upon me the honor of bringing order to this cesspool of pirates and heretics to rid the footfall of the corruption that has fettered, fettered its limbs and turned this imperial station into a hotbed of free thinking and inefficiency. God damn it, not free thinking. Disgusting. And I will not rest until all have been judged. This is no tribunal. This is slaughter. Good observation, pet. For once, you speak something that resembles reality. As loath as my soul is to concur with the Xenos, it is indeed. It must have been the Empress Providence that brought you here to my court. It would be my pleasure to indict you for the crimes you have committed. Ah, yes, I was kind of waiting for that one. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say, I'm awaiting the moment where she looks deep into my eyes and sees all the filthy, dirty things I've been doing to my navigator. <laughs> to mention my Xenos pet. Oh, boy. See, a lot of these people might be innocent of what they've done, but me? I, I mean... Most of the things I've done to Irileth is probably forbidden, even if it was done to humans. I hmm. <laughs> Go ahead, this should be interesting. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? This should be interesting. The Lord Inquisitor is aware of rogue trader Von Falence's arrival on footfall. He allowed it and gave no order of persecution. Rather, the Lord Inquisitor's will is that the rogue trader Von Falence be treated with respect befitting his status. In her, asser in her assertions, Lady Corda is getting dangerously close to abusing her authority and violating the chain of command. This is your warning. Why would you have to bust in and ruin this, you little piece of shit? This was actually going to get pretty interesting, I think. I have no intention of questioning the Lord Inquisitor's orders. Perhaps he wishes to receive you in one piece so that he may conduct a personal interrogation. Hmm. Tempting. I'm not iconoclastic enough, am I? That's tragic. Very tempting. But uh, perhaps we shouldn't rock the boat just yet. Uh, I was expecting to... Uh, yeah, I, I know what you're doing. I was expecting to be led to the Inquisitor. No? Okay. Well, apparently you're not allowed to go to the Inquisitor. All right, fine, we'll deal with her then. More and more new comics have been granted the great boon of undergoing servitude imperitus, and having rid themselves of sinful con consciousness of serving the Imperium free from doubt and weakness, Footfall will once again become a bastion of law and righteousness. I will eradicate all heresy that prevents the faithless from giving themselves over to the good of toiling in his name. Hmm. Yeah, it's confrontational. There is nothing just about this trial. Your accusations are contrived, and the purpose is simply to turn the entire population of footfall into pliant automatons. You're being a woman about this, Corda. Stop it. Do you think I find enjoyment in this? Yes. Looking at vileness upon vileness? Yes. Listening to one excuse after another? Yes. I loathe this and despise every malefactor out there. If I were weak of will, I would have obliterated this foul station with nuclear fire. Instead, I am here to offer each of them right to be judged in his name and the chance to return to his fold renewed. The universe is a terrifying place. We are surrounded by the arch enemy's machinations and xeno scum who would deny us our right to exist. The threat is inconceivable, and human weakness will not help us avert it. If man is weak, 
I rid him of his spinelessness and feebleness, endowing him with a sacred narrowness of mind and eradicating all that prevents him from utilizing his whole self in service of the Imperium. She's not lying. You can tell by her eyes and her voice trembling with earnest faith that Incendia genuinely believes in every word she just said. That because she fucking crazy, yo. Uh, I'm for for rain. I mean, the video game really seems like it wants me to f confront her here. Which I don't really see the necessary point of. Uh, the chat has agreed that she is indeed batshit. Good. Your accused awaits, and so do my duties. Wait! You have a duty to the Emperor that you must see to. Vladiam Tokara, the deplorable rebel who wants to rule this station, has slipped away from me. He is instigating the people's revolt, killing my servants and hiding from my wrath. With the dexterity, with the dexterity of a void rat. My informers claim he often appears in the den of unrest that bears the irreverent name of the Adeptus Amasakus. We made several attempts to arrest him, yet he evaded capture each time. Reverend Hieronymus has gone there to convince him to surrender quietly, but his efforts have likewise been unsuccessful. In the interest of Footfall's integrity, Tokara must be apprehended. As the road trader and authority, I order you to aid me in bringing him to justice. Mm, no. Don't wanna. The asteroid where the Adeptus Amasaka is located has been cordoned off, but my enforcers will take you there. I want you to lure Tokara out of his hole and seize him so that he may stand trial. Do this for the sake of Footfall's liberation and pave the road that my justice will tread. And what are you going to give me for this? Does it not satisfy you that order and imperial compliance will be restored and Footfall? I see you adopted too much from Theodora, namely her hubris, greed, and indifference to duty. Hmm. 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 Uh, not all fair, it says get the Reverend and everyone else to side against Corda. Hmm. Very well, very well. So, broadly speaking, I think it's for Corda and against Corda. So right now, $10 has been dropped in the economic jar. And of course, capitalism triumphs over all forms of uh, democracy on the channel. So we will be, from this point on, working towards overthrowing Incendia Corda. Which means I'm probably going to need to talk to Vladimir, so... Lie, it is. <laughs> Your cooperation will be taken into account in Supreme Glory's greatness, out of terror. But remember, none of the rebel leaders are allowed to die before their trial. I forbid you to execute them without my leave. It's about time. And I thought she was doing such a good job of things. I was taught that Xenos were abhorrent creatures. But you do not look terrifying. You look unusual. As do I. Naive child. You are a monster to your own kind. Were it not for your third eye that sees Shayel. The thread of your fate would have been severed at birth. Nice job, you know that cinnamon button was like, hey, there, I, you know, I'm kind of nice None to you. shall stand in my you way. You want to be friends? And then you slap her down. Brilliant. Um, I was expecting to kind of go meet the, oh, I can link these. Thank you. One of them had a plasma gun. Are you entirely fucking sure? 
Okay, sure. These are some pretty wealthy goddamn fucking rabble here, apparently. Follow uh, my lead. I thought I was gonna go meet with the Inquisitor, which I figured would have taken up Harris abode in the Fire is nicest the place he could find. <laughs> I guess not. Okay. A new challenge for me. Is there anywhere else I can go? Doesn't goddamn look like it. I won't tolerate weakness. Hmm. I thought the exit was over here, but apparently not. A Cthulian Ethan, twenty-five dollars to side with Corda. All right, siding with Corda. How are you doing in an incendio Corda's room? Information request accepted. Acceptable response found. Hear and heed. The unit rogue trader in Sendia Bastal Corda, and the said unit's actions have no significant effect on the operations of this Explorator Cognizance fleet mission, since the said unit has no jurisdiction over the Adeptus Mechanicus or any asset thereof. Glory to the Omnisire. Ah, good. Like, actually, her complete and utter madness does not bother me all that much at all. Fair enough. Fair enough, I guess. I'll lay claim to the stars. Hmm. Interesting. So they've got a little bit of an armed resistance lead. going here, huh? They do! Combat servitors and all kinds of shit. Space Marine went to direct the over to them and decided to scowl down on them. Ah, Vladium Tokara, you've, uh, you've fallen somewhat far since last time I saw you, sir. Now, for the moment, it is $10 against Corda and 25 for, so we shall be siding with Corda. So we can't kill him, but we've got to arrest him, apparently. You have no other option, Riser. If you abandon Footfall to Corda and Flea, where are you going to sell your goods? Or restock your supplies? It will just be a slow death for all of you. No missiles, no missiles, no water, no air. So quit bargaining with the inevitable and follow the plan. Your plan is a suicide pact. You have no allies? Oh, this woman, by the way, is trustworthy. I know she's good because she's ugly. Only the evil women in this video game are pretty. You have no allies, no weapons, no nothing. You're trying to play above your league, Vacimo. You've taken on a rogue trader dynasty with only a handful of cutthroats and a couple of guns to your name. I see your march to the gallows is more of a gallop. I do like the gallops. Not Alfarius, imagine being a rogue trader and not taking advantage of this situation to screw over a rival, an ally with multiple useful factions. Turn everyone against Corda. Very well, 30 against Corda. And Amon Pax, end Corda for the Emperor. 50 against Corda. But she's hanging people, though. I do appreciate the fact that she's hanging people. Turning away from a riser, Vladium's expression does not change, but an instinct, in indistinct curse falls from his lips. From his lips. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> Who do we have here? A couple of hardened insurgents. Ungodly, lawless rabble rousers were a threat to the security of this station. Kindly refer to us using our full titles. Service okay. guarantees citizenship. 
warming to the guy a little bit. Just, just, just a little bit. Warming to the guy, just a tiny bit. Greetings, your lordship. And as for you, Vakimo, I've got nothing to add. Your plan is at a crap and a kind of gamble I don't take. I'll leave you to think about your prospects and maybe realize that using my shuttle would be a better idea while the shuttle and I are still here. You're planning to leave the station via shuttle. <laughs> okay. Whilst I understand the desperation of your situation, all right, um, how far do you actually think you're going to get in the shuttle? I mean, even, even in a full spaceship, it would take, what, a hundred years to reach the nearby next nearby system? Right, I hope you can bring a lot of food and water in that thing and a couple of breeding apparatuses. <laughs> um, seems a weird plan. Look at Vladium. Oh, she left. Was I supposed to stop that? The former liege looks angry and focused. His coat collar is unbuttoned, showing the meshwork of ceramite reinforced armor hidden underneath. He is wearing a gun holster on his side. Now that Vladimir is thrown with the mask of a disgruntled bureaucrat, his sleeves are rolled up, showing his old bandit tattoos. He is exuding an aura of imperious cruelty. And Corona donates 50 Norwegian kroners against Corda, so that's another roughly $5. So $55 against Corda, yes. It is uh, a 2 to 1 at the moment with 25 for, 55 against. Heresy Whip out your Heresy weapon and shut down. <laughs> Every insertion is under arrest. <laughs> Oh my god, I love the bolsiness of that. It's like you wander into the middle of the rebels' den, there's dozens of rebels everywhere, and you just pull out a gun and go like, You're all under arrest now. Come on, put down your weapons. How is the station faring? It's turned into a kingdom of death. Executing protesters, cracking down on corrupt traders, and suppressing dissent are, dissent are all good, useful policies within reasonable limits. I've used them myself, in fact. However, with Lady Corda, reasonable limits are a distant memory at this point. Fortunately, I've been preparing for that turn of events ever since the first time that hag tried to take footfall. You helped us then, giving me time to organize. I set up weapons caches, enlisted more fighters, and deleted my agent's data from the Codotator network. When Corda took power, she thought she'd won. But the station was still mine. To an extent. My little army is waging a war on the enforcers. We slaughter patrols, wrestle back detainees, and punish those who collaborate with the enemy. Or are close to someone who does. Oh, I see. You're a rather unreasonable man too, aren't you? Incendia has her reprisals and I have mine. Everyone must remember that there are consequences for collaborating with the occupation force. Hmm. I mean, yeah, kinda. Still the bandit you always were. Hmm. I feel like that is mildly complimentary and insulting at the same time, so let's just go with I see, I guess. Old habits never go away. Oh, I admit, I didn't exactly miss the days of my youth, but to find myself in the line of fire again is invigorating. Your Lordship, perhaps you have little love to spare for me, nor have you built a strong alliance with the organization I'm a member of. That's because your shit costs way too much, my dude. But if looking at the new order of things on Footfall gives you even a tiny suspicion that it's so damned madness, step in and help me stop it. And what kind of help exactly do you expect from me? A general uprising will be doomed. 
The enforcers have isolated the asteroids. We can't strike out against Incendia, she has the greater numbers, and her throne's a refractor field will protect her from any attack. So we'll ask her ladyship to come to us. Exploiting her overconfidence, if she wants my blood, let her come and sp spill it. She knows we use the Amasakis as our meeting place. If you let the enforcers know I can be found and grabbed in here, she will come. Hardly with her throat in tow, I imagine. We'll lure Hinder into a trap, kill her, and take Bok back footfall. Actually, there are incidents of uh, uh, walking thrones mounting heavy bolters and multi-melters, so um, I, I wouldn't necessarily be so sure of that, but it's a reasonable enough plan, I guess. Why would I take part in this? What are you offering me? Because a critically important station, the Expanse is about to become a graveyard. Once commerce dies, merchants will turn to piracy. What else could they do? Connections between worlds will be weakened, since Corda will make short work of astropaths as soon as he gets to them. And Corda, do you think footfall will be enough for her? No, she'll march on, perhaps to your worlds as well. Besides, your lordship has not yet considered the possibilities that working with the Casbelica mission opens up. Now is the perfect moment for you to gain a new ally. In a time of crisis, every friendship is valuable. Incendia Corda has nothing to offer you, while my organization's gratitude is guaranteed. Between losing an influential partner and strengthening your ties with me, I'm sure you'll opt for the latter. Well, my own commercial senses do say that I am supposed to do so, yes. News of Incendia's death is hardly going to please the Lord Inquisitor. Considering Kalkasar has never once interfered in the station's affairs, he doesn't care about footfall. This means he also doesn't care who runs the station, so long as things are quiet on it. I am going to make sure things are quiet. Granted, he did give Corda security detail, but if she's already... dead, and her death doesn't smell of deadly heresy, he likely won't bother to investigate. The Lord Inquisitor will simply entrust governance to someone who won't cause him problems. Me. That is optimistic, but maybe. I realize it's a bald hypothesis. Good. And the Lord Inquisitor may, ha may have me hanged for Corda's death, but my life is at stake as it is, so I may as well take the risk. And what size force do you command? How much Corda would like to believe she's kicked the Casabalica out of footfall, she hasn't. We're scattered all over the station, lying low, and there's enough, us, enough of us to cause trouble. A small band of my most daring cutthroat staff members who were by my side when I came to power. Business partners who still remember that any venture is only as reliable as the grip of the venture's hand on their pistol. Add to that the group of Xenos mercenaries which my colleagues from the Casabella Commission may have provided me with. A radical solution, I know, but they don't care who they kill as long as I pay them. And I have the means to pay them. We would have greater numbers if Ryza wasn't so damnably cautious, and Hieronymus did us a favour and shut his preaching trap. I would have long thrown the go good reverend for a loop if it weren't for the fanatical mob that would show up here to avenge him. Why is Hieronymus shown up there? He preaches repentance. Corda sent him here to make us lay down our arms and renounce our rebellious ways. But he seems taken aback by the scale of Lady Incendia's purges, which opens up possibilities. If we put pressure on him, he'll bring over zealots who'll tear apart whoever he points his finger at. A useful man. I regret not establishing a rapport with him sooner. And Ryza? She has misgivings about the prospects of our... And suddenly, Strawberry Jam starts running down the walls. Cooperation. The old rogue prefers not to pick fights unless her victory is a foregone conclusion. And right now, she seems to be planning on fleeing rather than fighting. She needs the right kind of motivation. What a shame there's no one that called bitch values enough for me to take them hostage. Why did Ryza call you Vakimo? Old nickname dies as hard as old habits. I used to be known by that name at the station. The Vakimo is a myth. A malicious spirit stalking for prey in footfalls empty sectors. I had a terrible reputation when I was young. 
Alrighty then. I hope you're finding it promising. Uh, Cthulhu and Ethan. You know what? 62 for Corda. By the way, please question the priest on why she is as she is. Question the priest on why she is as she is. The priest? Hmm. Service guarantees citizenship. The priest. The priest. Hmm. All right, well, that turns it then to 87 for quarter, 55 against. Her tickle, down with Cordia, the Empress Justice, Iconoclast, Dogmatic. I will go and take a look around. All right, so there are it's further forces time. that need to be talked to before we make a decision. Excellence matters. Especially as chat has found themselves something that they, that they want again. Me? Well, I always enjoy it when chat argues, of course. None shall stand in my way. Any more... I Lips. rise to the occasion. Loot. Loot. Uh, let me just take that chest there. I'll lay claim to the stuff. Nothing's impossible for this old officer. Ah. You know, at first I thought that was a microphone, but no, it's actually a bottle that has like a weirdly solid jet of alcohol pouring down into a glass. It's a very weird portrait. Octaviana looks tired, and this woman too is a good woman. We know this for a fact because she too is butt fucking ugly. Only if females are um, described in this game as being pretty are they evil. Let's drink to her infallible leadership quarters, mercy, and good judgment, whatever they are right now. You're quite the poet, Octi. Yes, indeed. One would hate it if a lady quarters' ill health affected our own. Have you by any chance run into Lady Corda's good judgment on your journeys, your lordship? Hmm. Got anything strong? Have you seen Jay? She left my ship and doesn't... Did she? I don't recall this. How have you been doing here without me? Badly, but we're in no mood to lay down and die yet. There are still people who can't stand Corda's regime, and they are fighting. A sting a day, always someone new. Vladium may be on the run, but he still has people loyal to him. He never had more if it weren't for Reverend Hieronymus. Many fell for his sermons and took to repenting and confessing. He's turned too many to the faith that they don't dare to touch him anymore. The old man's a force to be reckoned with now. Are you not afraid of the enforcers? If they show up, I'll blow up the martyr's endurance before I let those butchers take me alive. And for now, I'll be behind the bar, fueling my roughnecks. It's a rotten thing for a captain to abandon ship, isn't it, your lordship? Some captain, if I were you, I'd scram all the scrammings good. I know you're attached to the Amasakas, but this hole isn't worth dying for. I have a shuttle hidden away nearby, so we could take off right now. Calm down, Riza. I'm not holding you here, so don't try to drag me away either. I bet they're carpet munchers, both of them. Aggressive carpet munchers. The kind of carpet munchers you only see in fiction like this. And they do look like trailer dykes. So, yes, carpet munchers. I imagine the metallic jaw must add a certain Service extra stimulus par excellence to the carpet cleaning endeavors of Octaviana. Probably why Riza is so interested in bringing her along on her shuttle. They may not have fuel, or food, or air, or water for an extended journey, but at least they can munch each other quietly into the abyss, if nothing else, right? Uh, not Alphadius, $50, thank you very much. Corda, cringe, screw her over so you can gobble up that realm of hers like a proper rogue trader. <laughs> very well, that makes it $105 against $87.4. Uh, 
I'm not gonna drink her. D okay, fine. I'll explore the options to see if it makes any. For you, always, my lord. Lord Winterscale's favorite blend. So good, it's not entirely legal. However, during his last visit, his lordship told me to put a bottle aside until his return. And who knows if he'll ever return here now? It would be a waste. <laughs> Such hospitality towards a scoundrel like Winterscale. <laughs> I mean, he did almost turn to chaos, but he's crippled now, so we shouldn't be mean to him. Um, there's the Caligos health and his prudence. If there is anything in the world her infallible ladyship hates more than us, it's Caligos winter scales. So I'll heartily join your toast. Okay, so have you seen Jay? I didn't even know she was missing, but. The silly girl went out alone to get her people out of Falco's clutches. I told her to wait a little till we sorted out our current business, then we could have bled him together. But no, not Hidari. That once as stubborn as a herd of Groxes. Said her guy didn't have that much time and vanished. Hmm. Uh, Armand Pax, one more time. Against Corda, no crazy allowed. 125 against then, 87-4. All right, this is turning into a full-on bidding war. Hmm. Uh, most of you don't have rat bricks, do you? I don't think you do. No, I don't think you do. Hmm. Okay. Well, to encourage participation, we will be offering free rat bricks today, then. Anyone who donates... Uh, what do I usually charge for those things? $30? Anyone who donates $30 or more will receive a rat brick. Is that free? You know what? Never mind. Anyone who donates, full stop, receives a rat brick. I'm a nice person, and I want more people to have rat bricks. Yes. I am a kind and gentle, beneficent soul, I am. I am a good person, and you should thank me, chat, for being so nice to you. Incidentally, I should probably show off a rat brick so you know what you're dealing with. I do need to, hmm, I need to do these more properly. See, right now I'm just using them as rewards, but I am still thinking of, uh, like, giving people the opportunity to actually get to these things. There. Eh, that's a rat brick from my last bidding war. <laughs> this was over the Space Wolf. <laughs> they are... You can... Basically, you'll uh, join the Discord server or send me a message on Twitter if you have the Twitter thingity bob thing, the uh, the free thingity bob thing. What is it? No, it's not. It's not a free thingity bob thing anymore, is it? You have to pay to be able to send messages now, which is kind of retarded, and I'm not entirely happy with that. But you just need to contact me either via Twitter or via my Discord. In fact, I'll put a Discord link in the description down below. And you can DM me with the description of what you would like to have. And you can have yourself a little customizable rat brick. And it'll be basically whatever you want it to be. We also have uh, the, the winner of preceding bidding wars here as well, Fenris. He's won two bidding wars now, which is why he has nice little laurels on his head as well. A glorious, a glorious victor, a warlord rank. And of course, it could be 40k related, or it could be anything else for that matter, as we also have, well, uh, dumber things. <laughs> Significantly dumber things. <laughs> By the way, Sue Strumming is officially called, called a biological hazard in Germany, so don't eat Sue Strumming if you value life. Riser, I need to exchange a few words with you at your lordship's service. I am interested in the fellowship of the Void's Wares, am I? Hmm. He's not long for this world, I have nothing more to say. Really? Victory awaits. Okay. That wasn't what I expected. I expected to be able to, like, pry out her position on things and maybe figure out who she'd be willing to support if I could keep her around. Uh, but I'm certainly not going to just tell her Follow to leave. My lead. She might be a useful ally after all. It's about time. 
Someone has a limited common in this machine's pit. The what now? I won't tolerate weakness. Oh, he oh, he's right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I thought I was going to go back and find him, but no, he's he's right there. A sujad, rat brick, dual wielding detonators, wearing a suicide vest, vest with an explosion in the background. Sure, why not? Why not, indeed? Why are you beaming weirdly? There we go. We can do that too. Heresy is the question. Fire is the, the Emperor answer. protects young von Valencia. So what has brought you here? Perhaps you would like to confess? Repentance is the first step on the path of redemption. Hmm. Why are you preaching here among the rebels? If it is not rebel, it is not rebels that I see. I see fools and malefactors whose weakness made them reject the law of the Imperium, who need of repentance and instruction. Had I come here earlier, perhaps I would have been able to prevent this heretical insurrection. And what do you see, rogue trader? I do like the balls on this guy. I see what you see, they must all burn. Hmm. Service guarantees citizenship. I do see mostly frightened people. It's it's difficult to disagree with that. Uh, you are entirely right, but it's not their lives that they should be saving. It is their souls that are truly in peril. Good point, sir. Uh, Cthulian Ithan. Now, I'm still mildly miffed about the heresy of Hida being alive. Not letting this one slide. Very well. And remember to contact me on the Discord for your uh, uh, for your free rat bricks as well. And yes, poor, poor Idira is still alive. That was a tragic, tragic consequence. So that's uh, 125, okay. So that is 212 then, four quarter... At 125 against. Thank you very much for your generous donations, everyone. Thank you, thank you. I would like to see the Jews in relics. Why not? We would never refuse our help to anyone who makes a generous donation to our mission. Oh, by Jews in relics, you mean shit like... <laughs> I... <laughs> I see. That was, um... <laughs> I, I don't know what I thought. I was... I, w I was kind of expecting for him to show me to, like, a reliquary or something and be like, Hold upon the toothpaste uh, tube of uh, D Drusus! Yes! Isn't it amazing? No, no, that was, um... No, it's, it's just guns. It's just guns. Judex. Judex, that's a name. Righteous Pyre. I mean, I do like the names, don't get me wrong, but, uh... Your shit does cost a lot, what can I say? Point to Chaplain. Have you sheltered a pirate among your brethren? Chaplain is a deeply believing servant of the Emperor. Few are as, are as intimately Harris familiar with human vice Fire as him. And <laughs> that is what fills his words with sincerity. His flock heeds and respects him. And as for all the hardened rascals and cutthroats who are part of that flock, why not? Our doctrine shuns no one so long as they are willing to receive its words with an open soul. A Mega Saber against Corda. Hi, Arch. I don't know if you remember me, but I was the one who RP'd the interview of your Rat Alchemist character for Nucka's Pathfinder game. Really wish they would have, have went with you instead of Rags. Fun times. I do remember that. Yes, I remember that. I do. It was fun times. The Rat Alchemist was a cool idea. Yes, I like that too. Right, 20 more against Corda. So that is a 145 against Corda, 212 against. Or for Corda. Yes, 212 for, 145 against. This is looking like it might be the first victory of the Redeemers, it looks like. 
Oh, the pacifiers, yes. The the redeemers are for... No, hmm. God damn it, we need a more... Morally unambiguous term. Against Corda, redeemers. And for Corda, purifiers. Yes, these are the two factions at war. Purifiers and redeemers. <laughs> I do like this. You give penchant chance for redemption, that is commendable. Your cult is dangerous, seeing as well criminals with an arms, one souls going together, do they not reverend? Let's get this back. You give penchant a chance for redemption, that is commendable. It is commendable. So long as we indoctrinate people properly into the cult imperialis, you can get some decent people out of them. I take no credit for that. They chose the path for themselves. I merely point out that the path is open to all. And instruct those who have started their journey for redemption, for thus St. Drusus taught us. Hmm. I mentioned. I'll lay claim to the stars. All right, so I can potentially talk him into joining, I guess. Citizen, citizen, Susp suspicious prowler, dreadful Xenos. Ha! Huh. None shall stand in my way. The imposing man, covered head to toe in scars, is hard to mistake for anyone else. You're looking at Chaplin, father confessor to late Dens Bellardo, whose funeral seems like an eternity ago now. His arms are crossed as he surveys the hall with a gloomy expression. Your Lordship, it is nice to see that St. Drusus has protected your neck from the heretics and the Xenos since we last met. Shame how it's always sad events that bring us together. The previous time was at a funeral, and now it feels like half a footfall needs a memorial service. Long time no see. What are you doing here? Same as always, your lordship, bringing the Emperor's light to the lowly and downtrodden. I am over my head at work, the station's teeming with hungry, maimed, and frightened people. Her ladyship Incendia Corda is in her righteous zeal doesn't see the atrocities her enforcers commit. In the shadow quarters, using so her name as their shield, I interfere wherever I can. But to be honest, I'm almost spent. Helping everyone is more than I can do. And what is your opinion on the station? Honestly, perhaps this began as a cleansing. But since day one, it's admittedly been looking more like a frenzy of fanaticism. Granted, people with a clear conscience had always been a few and far between on footfall. But is that a reason to exterminate everyone for the pettiest infraction? Well, that's what we're currently debating. <laughs> Not Alfarius. Fifty dollars. Cast down the false servant of the Emperor, Incendia Corda, for she is cringe and lame. True Imperial servants know that only your line, Lord von Valencius, truly matters. That is true. That is very, very, very true. That is a correct and accurate judgment. That puts it uh, two hundred and twelve dollars for Incendia Corda, and one hundred and ninety-five against Incendia Corda. Saint Drusus teaches us to bring people back to the Emperor's light, and only punish by the death those who've crossed the forbidden line and turned away from him irrevocably. In my own living, am. Um, I'm my own living proof that even a thoroughly rotten scoundrel can take a path of redemption. Are we in such a deep retreat from the heresy we're battling that the flamer and the noose are the only tools we have left? Eh, yeah, flamer and the noose are pretty effective. Shame that Reverend Hieronymus won't listen to me. He's too zealous. He sees the face of vice too clearly and finds it too abhorrent. Looking at footfall makes him sick, and so he welcomes its cleansing. May St. Drusus help you, your lordship. A new challenge for me? Just in case, uh, did you, uh... Did you fuck with the exit, Ladium? Hmm. 
So I've got to choose before I, I can leave here. Humanity between the stars. Very well. Victory awaits. Hmm. So he must be able to be convinced later then, I guess. Hey, Monpax, I will stand by you as long as I can, brother, not all various. <laughs> Thank you very much, Amon Pax. That is a further 24 quarter, guaranteed citizenship. Uh, which puts the four Incendiary Cordia faction in the lead by 215 to 212. God, we are getting close now. Yep, 212 versus 215. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Um, well, we are getting I very close to the choice, weakness. I think. So I'll, I'll waste some time whilst you come up with the final thing. I guess I do need to do my godforsaken level ups. I. Okay. One of the criticisms I have against this game is the level ups aren't as fun as I was hoping them would be. You know, in Pathfinder, there's always something cool to be looking forward to, but I feel like, honestly, this level up tree is too massive to the point where I don't really have a clear vision of what I'm going for. And so I kind of just end up with half solutions half the time. Now, wasn't there a... Um, advanced skill logic, base skill demolition... Combat Master, no one's around, that's pointless for me, Dueling Master, Grenadier, Flame Weapon, Proficiency. I mean, if there was a Plasma Cannon in this game, I would take that, but I haven't seen one yet. Nor do I think I'd be able to carry a Plasma Cannon, if I'm to be entirely honest, so... Power Weapon, Solid Weapon, Swift Movement. Two movement points... Nah, 10% bonus to dodge. Move, move, move. Yeah, that's the one I wanted. Yes, that's a really useful ability. I need that one. Right, so what have I got? Lord Imperium, it's high. Uh, Lord Warp is good. Tech use is good. Commerce is good. Logic, yep, logic is the least least good one. It'll blurred. Cthulhu Thon, 63 for siding with Corda. Also, unfortunately, the Emperor does not agree about four servants part, but I don't want to spoil too much. Oh. Oh, four servants, eh? And MW Balls, destroy the crazy brain eater and take her stuff. Okay. Let's see, that is 275 against Corda. Oh, oh, Heresy's all the, the way around. Fire is the answer. <laughs> 275 for Corda. Service guarantees citizenship. And plus 50 there, so 265 against Corda. Right, so that is 275 for Corda to side with Corda, and 265 against Corda to side against Corda. Again, and uh, MW Balls, be sure to join the Discord. There'll be a link in the description below, and send me a message for your personalized rat brick. In fact, you know what? It might be a good idea to just keep one of those up on screen so people know what the fuck I'm talking about. But not the Swedish one. The Swedish flag hurts my soul a little bit. Ah, yes. This one. This one's good. I like this one. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> you can be up there. Ah, uh, remove kebab. A good meme from the before times. 
All right, you need weapon skill. Uh, actually, I can get 80 toughness. Get 80 toughness. Uh, character can punch 10 bonus all characteristic. That would give him 90 toughness. Do that. Break through slash abilities. One enemy taunting scream. Taunting scream. That would be great. And athletics, I believe, is your main thing. Erelitz, my darling little Xenos pet. Your ballistic skill is already pretty high. What's your agility? 70? Okay, keep pouring it into ballistic skill then. Lord Xenos, 117. That's pretty good. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I can use some of those heavy weapons I found. I don't think so, but... Mm. And none of these are that useful. And Lord Xenos, plus 10. Cassia, dear little Cinnabon Kitan. You don't really need any... Oh, no, willpower. You need willpower. Yep, willpower is your prime minister. stat. Can you get another psychic rating point? Pain, toughness, willpower. I can get you another point of willpower to make it 90. Alright, 90 it is. Glimpse of fear. So immediately moves the four cells towards it. Multiple enemies are sent. Reveal the light. Hmm. Maybe just to move, move, move. Yes. Two people that can force movement is really nice. And Service guarantees citizenship. Uh, I am on Pax for the salvation of all mankind against the witch Corda. Corda has made herself so very, very unpopular. That is 285 against Corda, then 275 for Corda. Ballistic skill for you, obviously. Single shots and attacks opportunity. You're not really a single shot kind of gal, are you? You're really not. Could I maybe get you another skill point in shooting? No, ballistic skill's already tagged. Mm, damn. No, because you can only attack once anyway, can't you? So, having it be minus one... No, you know what, actually, because it'll, it'll help her with the versatility, so it's still not a bad idea, is it? Ah, control shot, yes. Yes, needing that back. And your thing is medic and demolition, and my medic is actually decent, so demolition it is. And Uvugar. What have you what have you got here then, Uvugar? Uh Cthulhu Nathan, 25 to side with Corda. Please spell Mankind with a capitalized M. God Emperor of Mankind, rightful rulers of the galaxy and all that. Good point, good point. That is 295 for Corda again, and 285 against Corda. I mean <laughs> Can you have higher weapon skill than 100? Um, maybe it's time to just start leveling his strength, I guess. Or no, 100 toughness. There you go. My nineless damage from fire talks damage bleeding effect. Why not? Why not just make him actually immune Service to weapons fire? Citizenship. And what are you good at? 135 athletics. Jesus. Surprisingly persuasive for a space wolf, I gotta say. 
And he's got very good corrals. Okay, you can do corrals then. Hmm. Did that get me the ability to carry some of the heavy weapons? Modified splinter pistol. Shuriken. Shuriken cannon. Okay, strength 60. So she needs like 25. If she gets five more strength. Okay, so I, if I can remember to give her five strength next time, I could use a shuriken cannon, which would be funny. Can I use a shuriken cannon? I can't use a shuriken cannon. My noodle arms are not big enough for the shuriken cannon, tragically. And none of these other things are very useful. I wouldn't mind picking up a heavy bolter to try out with her. Um... Let's give her the basic heavy bolter for now, because it's slightly more damage. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> How many helmets for you, yes? Ah, carapace fragments. This item negates all energy damage dealt to the wearer. Well, fuck me, that's kind of bullshit, don't you think? What's your intelligence? Less than 35. Brilliant. He's a bit retarded, but that makes him tough. Uh, right, there you go. You're immune to damage now, just straight up. Intelligence bonus dodge. I don't even think I have anybody that uses intelligence. No, I, I literally don't. Am I one? Here's kill Pebex. Ooh. Increase rate of fire of the latest weapon by plus one each time an enemy is killed. That's ridiculously good for her. Uh, nope. That's useless. Actually, does this debuff me now? Five or more. Yes, nine. So that's not a problem. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> Momentum equal to their resolve. Actually, Drukari equipment. Uh, I yeah, I literally can't use it. Okay, fine. I literally None can't use stand it. In my way. And I see you've been busy in the meanwhile. Uh, ben, zeal is no excuse. And Cordia also isn't cannibalism a wealthy pe a wealth penalty offense in the Imperium, like the Avrat bricks with Stalker, seed of Exocellar Skeleton, and M forty nine for two four nine LMG bunch of ammo packs. All right, I shall make a note of that as well. Now, you'll still need to contact me somewhere, because otherwise I won't be able to actually give you your rat brick, so bear that in mind. All right, ten more against Corda. And Mega Saber, the coalition of rat alchemists side with Aemon Pax and not Altharius. We demand the death death to Corda. Yes, yes. Poor Corda. I don't understand why Corda has so few enemies. I mean, listen, okay, she's mostly doing the right thing here. She's mostly doing the right thing. She wants to help the Imperium. She's just a little bit crazy with it, okay? She's just a tiny bit... Tiny bit retarded. That's all. Just a tiny bit retarded, that's all. Right, so that's 363 for Corda versus 325 against, I believe, now. God. This, this turned into a whole thing. Thank you very much for your generous donation, sirs. Thank you very much. Remember to join the Discord and message Speak me for your little rat bricks as well. 
Fire sees the question. Fire she is eating yes, brains. I need no farseer <laughs> to guide my future. <laughs> what? Is that reason enough to condemn her chat just because she eats people's brains? <laughs> I feel like you're a little bit bigoted here towards alternative lifestyles, if I'm to be entirely honest. It's about time. Okay, um, well, we can't drag this out for too much longer. I've done all my level ups, I've checked weapons. <laughs> We have checked weapons and declared all the stuff. Hmm. Got anything else to do? Okay, well, we'll see what he has to offer. And then we'll have to do a timer so people have uh, a last moment if they need to. And then we'll have to call a winner. Uh, a, a winner. Wiener. Not... Okay, either it's a winner or wiener, but not winner. No, that'd be terrible. I would like to make a deal with the Casabellic, actually. Before we do that, just in case it locks me in, save. Right, what can you offer me? Regretfully, your lordship, I have nothing to offer you at the moment. Well, thank you. My access to the assets you're interested in has been temporarily restricted. It's going to take a bullet through a couple of heads for me to once again be able to offer an adequate range of merchandise. You couldn't have given me a little bit more incentive? You couldn't have, I don't know, lied and been like, Oh, yeah, no, toots, bruh. Like, um, like, when I get back in power, I'm going to give you, like, foot rubs and shit. No, you, you couldn't. Ah, maybe you need dogmatic to convince him. I'll lay claim Actually, to how the far stars. is my, my fucking al alignment thing? I thought I was... No, I'm, I'm, I'm more iconoclast than dogmatic, aren't I? Uh, right, I am dogmatic too. I am actually... No, I'm actually more dogmatic than iconoclast. Damn, I have been like completely split down the middle. Which is probably not smart. You should probably go for one or the other. I am... Well, at least I'm more Puritan than Radical, so there's that, I guess. Characteristic has no... has no effects. Hmm. I'm a very, very... I'm a very wishy-washy road trader, Captain, as it turns out. Very wishy-washy. Oh. Oh, well. Did you have anything else to say, or am I just here to, like, warn you off? Uh, yeah, that's just, just the storefront. Victory and awaits. honestly, most of our stuff isn't very good or interesting, so, yeah, screw that. Okay. We seem to be at the, uh, the precipice here. Where we need to make a final decision. So what I am going to do is, uh, is there, is there any way to do that in Streamlabs? There probably isn't, isn't there? Of course there isn't, there wouldn't be. Uh, okay, let me set up a whole thing for this. You know, let's do it properly and all that. Meanwhile, what should we talk about in the meantime? Automatic window, dashboard, Streamlabs, no. There. Let's not have it cover the entire screen, mayhaps. There we go. Right, we will do a final five-minute warning, and once that is up, we will go with whatever the gods of capitalism decides, beginning now. <laughs> so, capitalism. <laughs> okay. Right. There was actually a th an interesting thing. The whole um, the whole thing with Asmund Gold, right? That happened the other day when he reacted to the uh, the Hell Divers video. What I find interesting about this is Asmund Gold's a relatively recent entrant to this side of politics, as you can clearly tell, because he doesn't understand what woke is yet. I am sure there are about 500 people willing to inform him as to what woke is, but just for now. He's not actually sure, right? And there's been more and more people entering into, like, our generalistic sphere that 
don't quite understand what's going on. And this, of course, has to do with the fact that our points of views are becoming more normalised amongst the plebeian peasantry as well. Oh, I'll pause that to... Not Alfarius says, May all brain-eating death cultists receive the Emperor's peace against Corda. Very well, sir. Another $50, so that is 300 and 75 against 363.4. Resuming the timer. And this we can also see with Stuttering Craig, right? So, Stuttering Craig of uh, Side Scrollers, which is his current uh, YouTube channel, and previously of Screw Attack, is somebody who returned to the internet relatively recently, right? And I've been on the Science Calls podcast a couple of times, and I've got to talk to him a couple of times. And he seems like a very nice guy. And he's always struck me as Fire is more dead. of just a straight-up <laughs> fan of gaming rather than any of the politics around it. And indeed, he seems to be almost completely unaware of the politics around it. Uh, Catholic Eltan, 250 Polish, four quarter. Four, four quarter. All right. That is, uh, that, that was 60, 63, right? I think so. Pause it again, note it down. I, I, I almost, hmm. My, my sympathies, I gotta admit, are starting to lean towards poor little Cthulian here. He's, he's trying very hard for himself. Service guarantees citizenship. He is doing a fine effort to allow Corda to continue her glorious duty of cleansing the galaxy of the impure, the evil, and the heretical. Oh, MW balls. Pause again. Fifty dollars. I am Ala Alas Alas. Why am I having trouble with this word? I am Alaskan white, so a slightly fat bearded rat brick with a comically oversized hunting rifle. All right, very well. Slightly fat rat brick. Slightly fat? I don't know if my artist Service is able to do citizenship. slightly fat, mind you. I think you might end up looking rather pudgy there, boy. But if, uh, if that is your desire, 50. That is 425... Against quarter, 426 for quarter, one dollar. And Eamon packs to the better end, not Alfarius, against the witch quarter. That is 445 against quarter, 226 for quarter. Resuming. This must be the most profitable stream ever. Now, the most profitable stream ever was the Space Wolf. Uh, believe it or not, that generated even more at the moment. The, the Space Wolf stream holds the record. So, yes. And we now have two people then. One, which is very large, Asmongold, going like, who are these people? And why are they ruining video gaming? And then we've got another person who's not as big, at the very least, not yet with the side scores, but who has an enormous amount of, like, clout within the general gaming sphere, right? Which is Dutcher and Craig, the founder of Screw Attack. That name still has a great deal of gravitas, doesn't it? And both of them are coming down on our side of things, which is very, Paris very good. Fire is the answer. <laughs> All right. Thank you again, Cthulian the Thorn, 63 for Corda. Uh, that is 489 for Corda, 445 against Corda. <laughs> Thank you very much, Cthulian. Thank you very much. And this will in turn uh, see even more of a turn against wokeism right because what we're going to have to do now for the next like five years is probably explain to these people what wokeism actually is we are going to actually have to go in through like a lengthy period 
and go like, okay, Asmongol, okay, Craig, this is Gamergate. And like, isn't that a harassment campaign against women? I looked it up on Wikipedia. And then I pull Dev out of a sack, where I keep him when he's not necessary, and he goes on for like two hours explaining this. <laughs> In fact... That is literally what happened on the Side Scrollers podcast, where Dev explained to Stuttering Craig for literally, I think, two hours, the video is up on their uh, YouTube channel, like, in exacting, autistic, ridiculous detail, every single point of connection from Gamergate to the current thing. And you can just see his face get more and more confused as he realizes just how fucking absurdly deep this particular fracket rabbit hole is. And I loved it. We need something like that but for Asmund Gold, okay? We need to fully brainwash him into our point of view. <laughs> Indoctrination is the solution. Unironically, indoctrination is the solution. I mean, hell, our opposition has known this for absolute ages, and now it's our turn to start indoctrinating people. The only difference is, of course, that our indoctrination will be, well, true, rather than what their indoctrination is, which is mostly just the Gramscian view of moving into the institutions explicitly and specifically to start taking them over from the inside, thus furthering their own political goals at the explicit expense of their political opposition. That's the beauty of it. I can with 100% state that my side is the correct side, because my side is the one that's simply saying, uh, please stop doing this, and let's all go back to playing video games. And that's it. Not how fair <laughs> sun costs truly is the best fallacy. May Corda suffer greatly. <laughs> sunk cost fallacy. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I snorked. I don't like snorking. Uh, sunk cost fallacy. Hey, I understand, my dude. I do. I've, I have, I have experienced sunk cost fallacy on more than one case myself. All right, it, it happens. It happens. All right, 495 against Corda, 489 for Corda, with three seconds left to go. All right. <laughs> you two little shits just kind of keep going, don't you? It's like, what is this bidding war of yours? Okay. How do we bring this to an end now? Alright, so bringing the... Uh, okay, Almond Pax, for glory, end the witch. Two of four... Okay. Thank you very much. Once again, sir, 495 plus... 2515. Against, and another 63. 499 plus 63, 552. God help me. Basically, Corda predecessor was heretic. She and her other siblings were basically vat kept and corruption do co corrupting and corrupting Dolorosa had a whole team pray around Corda's vat to get her cleansed for three years. That's after her whole life spent in a vat for Corda. Really? Fucking Christ. That is mildly ridiculous. Very long. <laughs> three seconds, I feel. I agree. Okay. <laughs> what is wrong with this poll? All right, we've I've okay, we've 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 got to we we have we have to halt this here. Yes. Not Alfarius was like my poor super chat budget. <laughs> we are we are sinking too much into this. We are we are sinking too much into this. God help me, stop! I'm feeling bad now. I'm starting to feel really bad now. Service guarantee citizenship. I. I must declare this bidding war ended here, because now I'm starting to feel bad. Jesus Christ, when we hit, like, the thousand dollar mark on a single decision, I feel bad, okay? 
My apologies to everyone who wished to continue uh, the fight, but <laughs> this is. Thank you very much, though, both of you, all of you, in fact. Uh, Armon Pax, Not Alfarius, Cthulian, MW Ball, Sujard as well, of course. I feel like I'm forgetting someone. Mega Saber and Ben, too, yes. All of you, thank you very much. <laughs> I've tapped for Super Chats for like a month now, lol, <laughs> so uh, But why is it always 63? It's the uh, conversion rate from, uh, from Polish. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, all of you. I incre it's incredibly... I, it's, it's incredibly appreciated. That was the word I was trying to look for. Thank you. You guys are the reason why I can keep doing this YouTube thing and hopefully entertaining you all. I wouldn't feel bad if my decision were worth that much, lol. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Thank you very much. Again, thank you very, very much, all of you. And again, uh, make sure to contact me in the Discord. There will be a link in the description down below. Uh, there is a one-day little entrance gateway. Uh, so you wait for about 24 hours, then you'll be let into the main server. And then you can see me there, and you can send me a message for what you would like your rat brick to be. Uh, those of you who have already sent me a description of your rat brick, by the way, please do that anyways, because that way I can actually send it to you, because otherwise you won't be able to actually get it. So, do that. Alright, that is the first victory for the purifiers, then. <laughs> purifies Victor. <laughs> and uh, we can we can do a little celebration for it as well. There you go. <laughs> you can celebrate. Follow my lead. Right, so in that case, we should tell her to leave just in case she decides to do anything stupid, like trying to help him out or something like that, because we wouldn't we wouldn't want to get the void pirates involved in all of this as well. That would be Absolutely terrible. We would like for as many of them to die as possible. I don't know why this doesn't loop properly. It annoys me tremendously. This was designed to loop and everything and look really cool, and yet it doesn't. Ah. I cannot Discord, I tell you. Discord is a piece of shit. Alright, let me tell you, just in case, if you're ever entertaining the thought of helping Vladim, cease that thought. He... Shaves away that thought away. He is not long for this world. I can assure you, I wasn't going to. Vladim the Wakimo has no future. He doesn't see it, but I do. And you do. When you come for his head or her lordship quarter does, you can trust or rise her to stand aside. Especially if she has security guarantees. Um... I'll try to protect you. Sure, why not? She could give me free stuff. None shall stand in my way. All right. Now, how do we go about arresting this guy? Hmm. Hmm. Right, so I'm gonna have to do that one, I think. Every insurgent present here is under arrest. I've missed this. Everyone, if I pay you thrones, that means you. To battle. Enough, Ladium. I was hoping I could temper your pride, but you are too rooted in your arrogance and heretical ways. All you faithful to the Emperor, let us take a stand for his liege, rogue trader, von Valencius. and bow before me! I will take you down. Oh, <laughs> I I like how how well he's fucked into that corner there. Um. Oh, I am so thoroughly fucked in here that I can't actually move anyone. Okay, well, there you go. Let's make it quick. Oh, <laughs> that was. Out my way. 
Pain and duty go hand in hand. Oh, this is gonna be nasty. When they start firing full also night nice down here. Let's get to it. For some reason, they seem far more interested in dealing with the priest than me. Um, okay, well, I mean, I don't necessarily mind, so... Alright, cool. Damn, they're pretty tough, actually. I can't one-shot them. Eighty damage, and we'll set up one of the combat servitors. Hieronymus Dolorus is doing his best to get himself fucking killed, apparently. I've suffered worse. Hold on. Um, uh, excuse me. <laughs> How? How did you do that then? Alright, okay. Well, you say Here we go. Scared yet? Damn, is that team just gonna be entirely dead by the time I get a turn? Yep, frag grenades. This is why you shouldn't start fights in tiny, tiny enclosed areas. It's, uh, it's often very, very dangerous, as it turns out. Uh, those thugs have, like, 44 hit points. Okay, you know what? In that case... It's time for Fon Valencius to even the odds. That's how you AoE attack. Bitch. That's how you do an AoE. All too easy. And Wolfgar, please hit that person. See how you become the All Father's worthy instrument. All right, that leaves me in what I can only assume to be a slightly exposed position, but uh, you know, such is life. Um, move, move, move. Can any of you move into somewhere useful? Not. Really no. Suits my okay. purposes. I'll just protect you to let a little bit then. Look out. Please, Please protect, protect me. No? Bonk? Ah. Yeah, hit that one instead. You could Don't kill an enemy, me. but no 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 no. Please, please, bonk that one. Let's make it quick. I should probably make an effort to try and save Hieronymus, shouldn't I? Otherwise Argenta might be getting a little bit pissy with me. Oh, I'm... I'm chonked in. Mm. Okay. Well, um, I might not be chunked in yet. So shall it be my hand. What is wrong with you? My strike is ruined. Listen, I was the I was trying to get oh, no, I no. Kick him while he's down. <laughs> right in the crotch. I I love that. Not A giant space wolf just steps on this man's nuts. Father. Uh but he is still alive, tragically. Okay, I can get out here. God Emperor, okay. move. One opportunity attack. Sucks. Argenta's probably gonna go down as per usual. Um unless Yeah, let's be the her. Hand Heal her. Of the healer. There. And can I have oh, yeah, Faith I can. without deeds is worthless. As the Emperor Step aside, commands, I act. You, my Emperor. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. One down. Out of my way. A few dozen more to go. Cassia, my dear cinnamon bun, Nico Nico I have read tomes of military tactics. Look, an opportunity for you I'm to use your line nuke. To being ordered around me, if you insist, Rare your captain. and delightful. I know it.
Hmm. Yeah. I'll paint Actually, this might have been a terrible idea. Another soul slips beyond the veil. Nope, that was actually a genius idea. Are you Okay, so I did kill one friendly, but she shouldn't have been standing there if she wanted to be alive. What can I say? It will be done. Yeah. Victory is imminent. At your beck and call. I'm not interested. That will shoot many of my friends. That will shoot less of my friends. Let's get to it. That is one brave guard. But why didn't I get an opportunity attack? Like he moved away and shit. Oh, down to a video game. Uh oh. Are you, uh. You feeling okay? You stuck? Video game? Please? Video game? Ah, there we go. I was hoping it would eventually realize that nothing was happening and, you know, get on with it. And I just shot out Jenta, cancelling all the healing that I just did for her. Hmm. This tedium is beneath me. That would have allowed it. This will miss you. Probably. And it did. Good for me. All done. You can do that to my dudes, can you? No, I Here wish you didn't go. do that, because I don't yeah. know if you're going to be Let's surviving that quick. now. Die, die, die. That's a nippy little piece of shit, ain't he? Okay, uh, keeping Dolores alive is beginning to look um, decidedly less possible uh, every moment that goes I past. Can I buff him? Uh, let's not do that. I half expected to blow Deronimus's uh, head off there, but I'll bring glory to my bloodline. Cassia, my dear, look. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. They've lined themselves up for you. Brilliant. I am a navigator, not a servitor. I miss the good old days when Me. she could do this as many times if as she had uh, action captain. points. That was brilliant. And incredibly unbalanced. But brilliant. Not right. A problem for me. Dolores, could you go somewhere else, maybe? Could you find cover, perhaps, or something? No? You're, you're just going to stay there, are you? Ah, brilliant. That's great. Um, let's Already put strong done. point on you, then. Out of my way. I have no idea if I need to do this, by the way. I, he might just wake up fully alive again whenever I leave. I'm just... I'm thinking that I probably don't want him dead if at all possible. Oh. <laughs> this... <laughs> oh, no. The is on the hunt. No. His giant dumbass is actually stuck. My instincts tell me to refuse. Your instincts tell you you're a bit of a fucking tard, you know that. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, there you go. Guided by faith. There you go, indeed. God help me. I'll do it. Right, rapid. F I feel like I still feel like rapid I fire act. is better. Right, so. I'll do it. God, I wish there was a way to just give her, like, one more action point. Jesus Christ, I want it so bad. Furious recital. Isn't this a job for the serfs? I 
to die with grace, at least. Should have spent more time building up if your I AOE, may. AOE, fuckers. How dare you! Adelblad, you're still fighting him. Done. Please kill him this time Get so he doesn't yeah. mic me out sure. again, please. I beg of you. Kill, kill. God damn it. Better, better. Just designate a target. Right, uh, don't mind me. I'm going to apply a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, non lethal damage to you with this weapon that fires the black material of a fucking Let's sun. Let's get to it! <laughs> Hold on! He just slaps him. From the ashes, he just rest. actually slaps the servitor. He, he doesn't hit him, he doesn't really fight him much, he just kind of slaps him a little bit. Now that wasn't very nice My now, was it? You shot Argenta. I don't like that. Suits my purposes. Overcharge plasma. All too easy. Nothing of value has been lost. That is the biggest amount of non-lethal damage ever inflicted non-lethally on someone in the history of non-lethality. No. Ruby Flash is choking me. Well, Uwugar, you're still stuck. So, uh, Cassia, it's your turn. Be careful not to cross my gaze. <laughs> I am a an And thus, his brain was made liquid and made to run out of his anus. Oh, do not do that. I am not your Xenos pet, I'm monkey. trying to keep that guy alive, so please don't fire the black fire weapon. The fortune him. favors the swift. Let's make it quick. Come on, Hieronymus, run up to the servers and slap away. it to death. No? Okay, well, I guess I'll do it then. Suits my purposes. Opposing me was your biggest mistake. All right. Um, well, I hope I uh, remembered to put the plasma gun to non-lethal, to uh, stun. Incendia casts a damning glance at Vladium, who is shifting about in a puddle of his blood. Yes. Yes, I did manage to set the plasma gun to non-lethal. Fantastic. Footfall will be relieved to know that law has been restored in every sector of the station at last. Footfall will be delighted to know... That you're dead, you redhead bitch. I'm kind of hoping that he's not carry that you know he's not wearing a giant suicide vest or something like that, because you never know with these people. Hmm. I hope you are creative in your punishment, Incendia. You have contributed to the restoration of order and footfall, his supreme glorious greatness, Sir Arch of Terror. Therefore, we will hold the trial jointly. Oh, that's nice. Who shall we begin with, Supreme Greatness or Art of Terror? Point to Riser. <laughs> you know how I said I was going to keep you off the tribunal, Riser? Well, I lied. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't do that to her. That would be cruel and unusual. No, that would be, that'd be terrible. That would just be mean. Let us convict Vladimir. Vladim Takara, I charge you before the Emperor's stern gaze with contempt for the creed he gave us, with harboring lawless heretics, with crimes against his loyal servants, and with armed rebellion against his will. Yes, that's what they say about me, and that's what they say about you, is that you're a dope-sniffing maniac who kills people for sport, and eat their brains, mind you. Hmm. A hanging offence. Torture him to death and broadcast his screams live on Footfall's Vox Station. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, okay. Um, that's, uh, tempting, I gotta say. Hmm.
Okay, chat. Hanging. Execution. Or torture. There you go, chat. I mean, again, hanging, hanging is the nice execution, okay? Because hanging is actually a very, very, very humane form of punishment. Uh, okay. I don't know if it's a, f a humane form of punishment, but it's a humane form of execution. If done correctly, the noose doesn't choke you to death. It's actually designed to let you drop, tighten around your neck, and yank, separating the spinal cord, killing you basically instantly and severing all connection from your brain to the rest of your body, ensuring that you feel no pain. So, you know, it's, it's pretty nice in that regard. Personally, I am still uh, more of a fan of the guillotine myself, because the guillotine has a bit more penchance to it, you know? It's got a bit more civility, you know? But sadly, we don't have the option of the guillotine here. And as for execution via plasma weapon, I do imagine that be pretty quick as well, you know, just a whine of charging plasma coils at the back of his head, a twitch of the finger, a sudden burst of light, and then there's nothing more than a scorched out empty skull in front of you, sizzling gently in the atmosphere. That'd be pretty quick as well. Torturing to death, however. Hmm. That, I imagine, would be the precise opposite of quick. Uh, intentionally, I imagine. I, I think that would be prob probably um, probably intended to last for a while and to inflict a, a significant quantity of discomfort upon the recipient. Oh, yes, in Iran, where they do hangings by slowly lifting you with a crane. No, 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 th that's just... Brown people not understanding white people culture again. You're supposed to snap their neck. Strangulation is like that's a failed execution in essence. And what they would often do as well um, was that if you if you the you know dangled and you didn't break your neck, what the executioner might do is walk underneath the platform and then jump onto you and like try and yank you down to separate your spine again and try and finish you off. That was the intended point of it. So it's not as cruel as it sounds. You know. Yeah. <laughs> not as cruel as it sounds. Hanging is 49% of the votes with Torture Death 34 on second place. That seems fairly conclusive. It looks as if he is going to dangle. The law says what he committed are hanging offences. So you're going to string me up like a pirate. Well then, whatever bad place my soul goes to, once I become the ruler of that place, I'll be back for you. Vadim Takara, you will be hanged for your crimes. Let the sight of your cold corpse bear witness that the cold trade has no place on footfall anymore. <laughs> Coughs to himself whilst hiding the splinter rifle behind his back. Who will fall trial next? Uh, the, the trial can end now. You know, Riser is totally not a pirate. It's fine. I disagree. I see one more dangerous plot here. Send your fingers pointed, Riser. Me? But I never fought against you. I never backed Vladium. And because of that, we are supposed to pardon you for your past offenses. Commoner Riser, you are charged with piracy, with aiding and abating rebels, and with blasphemous heresy and worship of the ruinous powers. Burn for eternity, ungodly wretch. Ooh, strident. You think you can judge me? You shouldn't have done that. I have something up my sleeve in case the worst comes to worst. I, Riser, reject your accursed justice and your accursed emperor. Ooh, careful there. I accept a deal that was offered me and surrender myself to the edge of daybreak, die red-headed monster. Aha. <laughs> I 
and she's Chunky Soup now. Okay. I'm very sorry. I tried to show mercy to a heretic. Silly me. I should have just killed the woman. Women, women should be, women die, die. Women die, die good. The road trader hands fall swiftly into an aquila that meets the blow like a shield. Flickering flame runs down her pale fingers, leaving no burn marks. Incendia whips out her weapon, and a shining ray blinds everyone, a hundred times more powerful than what a common last pistol can produce. The blast atomizes Riser before she has time to say her last curse. That's what I figured. A Rosetta, or a personal void generator. I didn't think it was in her throne. I was pretty sure she was wearing it. And that uh, was one of the little black light weapons. I carry about five dozen of them myself. What a pathetic attempt. She deserved what happened here. The Emperor pointed me to wickedness, and I destroyed it. Justice has been done. Enforcers, arrest all lesser rebels. They will find trail in trial in due time. Thank you for your aid in the cleansing of footfall. His supreme glorious greatness are out of terror. The Emperor protects. Well. That was bloody. But uh, not... A new challenge for me? Oh, I like I like how these people are still here. It's like, wow, that woman was turned into a literal fucking puddle on the floor. I'll lay oh well, claim begins drinking stars. again. <laughs> That's admirable nonchalantness right there. I gotta say. You know, I think you should have something a bit more bitey. I think. I really feel like I should get you a two-handed weapon of some kind. Actually, that is better than the two-handed weapon, so... Never mind, I suppose. Voidsman armor. 65 armor. Jesus. I feel like the Radiant Chestplate should be better than that, but, uh... If you say so, I'll take it. And the rest was mostly just normal stuff. Victory awaits. Right. Justice prevails, I suppose. Finally, footfall is safe and secure. All traces of taint and deviousness has been thoroughly drawn from it. Uh... There we go. I still need to talk to the Inquisitor. <laughs> oh, yes, Chad. I actually do know that Corda is a secret follower, but I, I considered making that like um, a funding goal for which secret follower to get. But the thing is, to get the secret followers, I'm pretty sure you have to go 100% one thing. So you've got to like go all heretical, all dogmatical, all iconoclast. And that would work out very well, so I'd like to let chat choose things. The Lord Inquisitor told me to let you know that it will be his pleasure to see your lordship at his palace. There are matters of the utmost urgency that he wishes to discuss, and he hopes you will find the time to meet him in the near future. I will, uh, visit him as soon as possible. Oh. Follow my lead! Loot. I do enjoy the decor in this place. None shall stand in my Has the way. line decreased at all? 
No, but she's still working hard though, and she's returned to her to her accustomed position with her snack bowl next to her. It's about time. Very well. Quick save, just in case he has some weird choices for me. Hey, hello there, Lord Trader von Valencius. I heard you a killed a bunch of people in the bar. It's like, well, yes. Greetings, your lordship. Your timing is impeccable. An age seven with the bearing of a veteran approached the two of you. In a precise movement, he replaces the untouched cup of cold recaf in front of the Lord Inquisitor with a new one. <laughs> Slightly steamy. I see you didn't drink any of that. Here, have some more to not drink. Greetings, Inquisitor. You and I need to talk. Glory to the Emperor, Emperor's Angel of Fenris. Your words will be heeded, my lord. I'm told you have business with me. I value your directness. It will save us much time. Yes, there is something you must do. It is time for you to play your part to save the Corona's expanse. I would not disturb your esteemed personages, personage for anything less. Sister... May your path be blessed. It is gratifying to see that the trials endured by the Expanse have failed to extinguish the flame of your fortitude. Lady Navigator, Cassia Tisipia Evrialia. I hear that House Orselia is going through a difficult time. Change is coming. I sincerely hope it is for the better. Your colours, Lord Inquisitor, are as rich as they are multifaceted. I have never encountered anything like it before. Unclouded hues flowing from one to the next. Amazing harmony. Amazing and frightening. That a man of such status and talent has taken an interest in the well-being of a novice nobility house is a great honor. Hmm. I guess we'll start from the top. You escaped from the Dark City, a feat that few have accomplished. Truly, I congratulate you on an exceptional performance, and I won't ever mar your triumph by telling you that the Inquisition will, of course, be watching you very closely henceforth. I sincerely hope that your grand escape was not part of a Xenos's devious machinations. Probably not, considering I, you know, unleashed Slanesh on their city and shit. Yet I am surprised that this Xenos is still alive. What is it? Your lordship? Sentimentality? Revenge? Cold calculation? If you do not finish it off yourself, send word when you have tired of her. My acolytes will be only too eager to learn her secrets. Lean in close to Inquisitor and whisper. The way she looks at me when I touch her with my Cheeto-covered Cheeto fingers. Ah, oh, pure disgust, your lordship. I just can't get enough of it. <laughs> I have looked into the eyes of death, and of creatures far more dangerous than you, monkey. Do not try to frighten me. Ah, uh, what is the current state of the Expanse? The cult of the final dawn and the Drakari raiders are vying with each other to see who can cause us the greatest turmoil. I have mobilized all the forces I can to repel the attack, which is why we are still alive. Combined, militia brigades are hunting for Xenos, and guarding convoys and expeditionary platoons under my command are crushing heretic rebellions. The situation is unstable, but I will not pretend that I am prepared for this crisis. However, we have not lost our footing yet. Hmm. Ought have promoted the Drukari to act so brazenly. Prisoner interrogations indicate that an incident occurred in the Dark City. What does Zenos call a disjunction? Oh, I know what that is. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's the warp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> a dimensional calamity that forced them to step up their rage in real space. Their audacity speaks to their desperation, which in turn will translate into new trials for his servants. Da -da 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 -do, whistles innocently. And so your quest for revenge has brought forth a new era of suffering for Monkey Elantark. Are you satisfied? Irelet, shut the fuck up. Or you are going back into the Cheeto closet again. 
Now pay no mind to the knife here, uh, Lone Inquisitor. She knows not what of what she speaks. Why has the Cult of the Final Dawn become more active? The warp is raging. This baleful sign always portents change and crises bigot desperation. The most fertile ground for heresy. I believe the arch enemy's servants think their time has come. Or perhaps this day was marked in their profane scriptures the date of the end of existence. I will not trouble myself with further attempts to make sense of their blasphemous doctrine. They are bent on destroying us all and so they must be destroyed. We have mobilized all forces but not House von Valencius. Are you not standing before me now? While your status remains unclear, I prefer to not requisition the resources of the Von Falensis Protectorate. Your people dealt with Uralon, the Cruel's agents, and with Xenos raids, and that was enough for me. But now is the time to add your might and talents to the scales. You must have an ingenious plan to save the Expanse? Uh, probably not. If such a plan were to exist, information about it would be of the utmost secrecy. I suggest you focus on the current strategy of putting out each fire as you encounter it. I understand. I see no need to get bogged down in details. To appraise you of all the information I currently possess would require more time than we have. Alright, you wish to speak to the Lord Inquisitor, Wufgar? Ubugar? Indeed. You petitioned our aid in fighting Xenos. We spilled much alien blood, but the wind battle carried me far, and I have lost contact with my pack. Do you know where I can seek out my brothers, the Baleful Howl? Oh, that's really emo of you, Wolfgar. Really emo of you. I'm afraid not. According to the information in my possession, they withdrew from the battle raging in the Expanse. You lie. The Baleful Howl would never run from battle. The Baleful Uru. What do you mean by withdrew? Contrary to my request to continue hunting Xenos, they embarked on an expedition whose objective is unknown to me. There has been no word of them since. Sounds suspicious. This is not how we wolves conduct ourselves. I can tell you no more. As you well know, your pack preferred not to report their plans and intentions to me. What do you think diverted their attention? I presume it was search for Brother Ulfa. It is common knowledge how deeply Spade's wolves value their ties and brotherhood, far more deeply than the ties that bind them to other subjects of the Emperor. People disappearing in the vicinity of an Inquisitor is always cause for suspicion. If this is some scheme of yours... Dare I remind you that your presence in the Expanse is not a favour to me, but the promised repayment of a debt? I was not so haughty when I returned your lost brother to Fenris. I did not demand recompense for my faithful servant who died saving him. I kept secret those details that could have damaged your honor. Why then does your gratitude taste so poisonous? Ooh. Xavier found a wolfen somewhere. And saw in that a wonderful bargaining chip. Then he returned him in a cage to Fenris and went, Oh, look at what I found, a little Ubugar. Look at him, he's all screaming and covered in fur. That's weird, isn't it? That's, that's really hard, hmm. Maybe some questions ought to be asked here. Oh, no need, Miss Inquisitor. Uh, what, what do you want of us? Oh, you know, just a pack or two of space wolves and I might forget about how fluffy this one was. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. He shut up quick there. Mm. Is there any way you can help find them? No, but, but I believe I know someone who is better informed. And I will name that person as soon as we finally start discussing the matter that prom prompted me to summon your lordship. The speech for Nino Canagos Windscale about. His lordship deemed it more important to show off his stubbornness than to safeguard the interest of the Expanse. Stupidity of the most burdensome kind. But my sources inform me that he nevertheless has joined my effort against the Xenos, and so I have decided to stay my sanction for a time. Why do you think he acted that way? His lordship has long displayed a susceptibility to corrupting ideas. His loss of interest in managing his protectorate and his appetite for violence drew my notice some time ago. The only question that remains unanswered is how many agents of the arch enemy have infiltrated his entourage. Did you try to discuss it with him, or, uh... Can I go... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hmm. 
Do I tell him, chat? Do I tell him? Because that, that's a spicy thing to mention right there. It's a very spicy thing to mention right there. Right, before that, did you even try discussing it with him? Or did you immediately set incendia upon him? Despite the impression I may have created, I am not a schoolmaster obliged to rein in misbehaving rogue traders. Caligos rejected the call to fulfil his duty to the Emperor. What discussion was there to be had? Let's see what chat says. Chat is very in favour of yes for now. We'll give it a little, little more, little longer. He might be like, and you let him live. Yes, he might be. He very well might be. Or he might turn to Uvugar and go like, mm, Wufgar, how about you have a trip to Lord Winterscale's side and step on his head? 80%. Right, we shall be asking him then. Caligos was down there, uh, under the influence of corn. But trust me, mm, I fixed it. How curious. When all this is over, I will certainly call you as a witness at Caligos's trial. Together, we will decide how best to handle him while ensuring the safety of the Expanse. Yep, yep, yep. Caligos is uh, not going to be thanking me for this, I imagine. Are you aware of the changes Incendia has wrought on Footfall? Naturally. Her ladyship has done me an invaluable service by taking on the task of installing order on the station. Though her style of leadership seems unnecessarily brutal to me, on the whole, her actions have not exceeded the bounds I set. I helped Incendio, you know. I kill. Oh, I, I did that, Lord Inquisitor. <laughs> I murdered an entire bar's worth of patrons. Mm -hmm. Inflicted a non-lethal plasma wound on a ruffian's head. I am pleased to see that rogue traders can indeed work together. This serves as proof that you are a worthy candidate for the mission that I am about to give you. And what do you want from me? Frosher, if you please. To my chagrin, the ability to be in two places at once does not number amongst my talents. This, that is why I wish for you to serve me in my stead. I place such trust in very few people, you understand. You will feel what it is to walk in my shoes and attempt to compel a gaggle of quarrelsome blockheads to work together. You will reconquer Euphrates too for me. Frosher, another recap. <laughs> this one is called cold. Yes, my lord, here's another cup of coffee for you not to not drink. You will reconquer Euphrates too for me. The esteemed Lord Inquisitor has done away with all pretense and politeness now. His orders no longer come with even the veneer of a request. To what do I owe such an honour? To whom else could I entrust this mission? No need to feign ignorance, von Flentius. We both knew the shortcomings of the other candidates for this position. At present, in the Expanse, there are two people with the perspective and steady hand required to control this situation. And they are both standing in this room. So if you will dispense with the humble rogue trader act and win this war for me? Uh, sure, but is he a valet or an assassin? Why can't both be true? Good point. Frosher has been a member of my retinue for 50 Terran years, and the person in my entourage who comes closest to being my confidant. We have had to cause to be involved in many incidents whose reports have since been marked with the seal of silence. Hmm. How nice of you, Frosher. Can you tell me anything about Euphrates too? A sacred world of the Adeptus Mechanicus, off limits to laypeople. I am one of the few who do not worship the Omnissiah to have set foot on its surface. Or rather, I was. Now it is crawling with unbelievers. The despicable word bearers attacked and captured Euphrates II, and the cult of the final dawn brought an entire horde of heretics to the planet. I sent my troops to aid the explorators, forces laying siege to the world, but a rift occurred among the commanders. They need an authoritative general, and you are perfect for the role. My confidence is not misplaced, I trust. Of course not, your lordship. I do enjoy smashing heads together. The word bearers went there themselves. They didn't just send their puppets. Clearly, the snakes are for them for them are high enough. 
or along the crew will have stirred his profane self to make a personal appearance on Euphrates too. Contract Voigtmaker, incidentally, is also there. I hear you two have unfinished business. Him I will generously leave to you. When you are finished with him, you may simply dispose of his mortal remains. No need to surrender them to the Inquisition for an inquest. Consider it my guess, gift. Word about it, eh? Okay, that's going to be nasty. An utterly transparent attempt to learn secret intelligence. I offer to make you my general and you try to pump me for information. Poorly done. I needed information on it. What do you want with the Euphrates to? The reason behind their machinations would be pure speculation at this point. Bring them the prisoners to interrogate and perhaps we'll gain so much needed insight. Alright, could you tell me the forces at my disposal at least? Explorator Fleet Divine Cognizance 7821 recalled that most combat ready units to retake the world. They were supported by my, my most powerful strike fleet and a group of deadlier allies. I dispatched a pack of space wolves to hunt down the transgressors. Unfortunately, the leaders have failed to find a common language. The esteemed Thorbald is at odds with the conclave of the Mechanicus Battle Congregation, and the Omnissiah's servants find Thorbald's strident nature off-putting, and neither group is fond of militant Sibilek, who commands my forces. We're not fond, to be precise, were not fond to be precise, the esteemed Milton perished along with his ship a week ago when his noble allies failed to support his offensive. Oh. Well, at least he tried. I recommend that you go to Euphrates too, my lord. Perhaps your pack was less reticent with the esteemed Thorbald than with me, and told him where they decide to direct his efforts. It is a fine suggestion, which I accept gracefully, Inquisitor. Situation is clear. I will smash the heretics. I never doubt you, your lordship. The Emperor protects. This document attests to the extraordinary powers you now have at your disposal. I am counting on your success, if his supreme glorious greatness, Sir Arch of Terror. And now I have an inquisitorial seal. I'll lay claim to the stars. Imagine all of the wonderful things I can do with such a thing. So, you, uh, you still having fun? Oh. I can't actually talk to her. She's having too much Victory fun to converse awaits. with me. Fair enough. Vladian body bears a sign saying, Call trade and scheme against the Imperium. I do like how they label Not them after they hang them. You know, they keep a little plaque up there just to be like, Oh, listen, we didn't fucking hang this guy for no reason, okay? Look! He's been accused of these things, and since he's dangling here, he was clearly guilty. Fair enough, fair enough. This doesn't look like my ship, incidentally. Yeah, this definitely doesn't look like my ship, okay. Uh Oh, Void Dog Alpha Row. Okay, there we go. Lord Captain, permission to report. Jay Hidari is gone. It is difficult to say when and how she left the ship, but only a few items are missing. Her personal weapon, her certificate, and a small box containing securities. I believe she has returned to footfall. According to Vox Officer's report, she was always telling the crew that she would do the last decent thing in her life there. Okay. Well, I don't have any markings for her quest.
Yeah. Oh well, too bad for Jay. Very unfortunate for her. Very unfortunate. Let's talk to everybody else then, since we do have a few quests to wrap up. Maybe they'll even be voice acted. I doubt I'm that lucky, but who knows? Oh, yes, people said that Voxmaster Vigdis had quests. Ah, boost the morale of my crew. Hmm. Well, it's done. Okay. Zero channels. Epitha, incense, a tech blight, ring a bell. All of Lady Theodore's journeys could be considered unusual. Her odyssey were always audacious. And as for the words you mentioned, none of them sound familiar to me as far as I can tell. Except maybe the incident. I recall coming across this word in transmission several times. It was reported by the former engine seer, the one who perished during Contrag Voitvega's uprising. He was described as the... Incident. Incident? Hmm. Something quite remarkable. Apparently, at some point in the past, the entire ship was hit by a massive system failure. All systems stopped responding for one fifth of a second. Most of the crew, including myself, as I was likely on board at the time, did not notice anything strange. But tech priests are sensitive to such things. That is all I can tell you, Lord Captain. I wish I could help. Um, I already did that. The Immoralium. A uh, Vox system system is malfunctioning. Lord Captain, the Vox system is functioning as expected and no communication problems have been reported by any of the crew. Please allow me to check the system's calibration setting in your presence to alleviate any concerns that may have about a performance. All finished, Lord Captain. No issues detected. The system is working as expected. Okay. What about duties? A Vox and missionary interest is now. The Tolix encrypted message contained the coordinates for landing site on a certain planet was a rare cargo. Monster Scout ship tire ship tire, let's explore the expanse. Oh, okay, so he's like a rumor thing. Alright, that's nice. Right, so I've got to Cassius Cassius got nothing new. <laughs> Words cannot describe how maybe boring she does. the bridge is without our stimulating conversations. As the only voice of our family on this vessel, it is an honor. As long as your questions are courteous, I will answer every one of them. You are shrewd indeed. My ancestor charted that route while fleeing the enemies of humanity. They say the Emperor himself was his guide, because the warp expelled their vessel without a single loss. Unfortunately, the lips of those who relate this tale seep with disgusting green hubris. I think Kaleen Orselio was simply a skilled navigator. Oh, yes. The navigators of the house came to the Coronas Expanse fairly recently, a mere 208 years ago. Before that, our ancestors expanded the borders of humankind's dominion for the glory of the Emperor, blazing trails to different corners of the galaxy. By all means. All right. I haven't. Not a lot of news, but something. What about Argenta? Greetings. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, Ulugar. Broke free the bold from captors grasping. Dark cities, feeble dungeons, eternally disgracing. Flows now this saga in the hall of glorious feasting, where all extol the wolf mighty and the yet fatter cunning. <laughs> I hope you're not going to put off the feast. Our escape demands a grand celebration. Ah, uh, I'd almost forgotten how many layers of stuff they added onto your voice. Okay, um, what do you plan to do? The pack of Thorbald Ironhide is now laying siege to Euphrates too. 
Even if my pack is not with him, he may know where they are hunting. I must meet with Thorbald and ask after my brothers. Okay, fair enough. Well, I know the answer to that and that. One, he's hungry, and two, they can actually get genetic information from defeated enemies. And four, uh, Big Wizard had a wolven. And he used that to blackmail them, as he should, of course. Right. Lord Captain, allow me to express my gratitude once again for your assistance. If it weren't for your intervention, my entire family could have been executed on false charges. I could have lost them all. I never imagined the Vasarians would be so vulnerable while I serve as seneschal to the Lord Captain himself, far from home. But such is my duty to the rogue trader, to keep tireless watch at the Lord Captain's side, to serve as a support in the darkest of times for you and for me. I will not step down from my role, no matter what happens. Do not doubt me. The Viserian family will learn from what has happened, and if our blood is worth anything, we'll be ready to face new trials without my guiding hand. Hmm. I will allow you to return to the Conus after the immediate crisis in the Expanse has passed. I feel like Adelblard is bro. I feel like Adelblard could be excused. Hmm. But then again, Adelbard is also a bro. I'll ask him. Do you not wish to return to your family? I cannot guard my family as if they were little children. I once tried to protect you in the same way. Service Could quickly citizenship. discover that you have your own head on your shoulders, and your own opinion on things, even if I do not always agree with them. No, my duty is to be at your side. To be your Seneschal. Well then, Lord Captain. It is time I return to my duties. Is there anything else I can do for you? Wasn't there that? He's a good boy. Subject Noble says, I like Dev, but he's, very, but he's very knowledgeable and very ignorant at the same time. And it drives me nuts sometimes. Also, play Armored Core X. I did. I did play it. I, I streamed it, in fact. Enjoyed some parts of it. Hated some other parts of it. Dev is very knowledgeable. It is also that Dev has no idea how the world works. Um, no, definitely not. No, I don't recall anything like that. Mm. Lord Captain. If you say so. To what do I owe this visit? Nothing new for Henrix. Where is that? Okay, there's your let. Pascal? The Omnissiah knows all, comprehends all. Me? Mm, nothing that looks relevant. Pet Xenos? The Dark City released us from its thorny embrace. The wounds of the body will heal. But what about the wounds of the soul? Cruderock fell, and its demise shattered the fragile lives of countless children of Osirion. Scattered across this part of the galaxy, hounded by the monkey, pursued by the dark cousins, imprisoned by the servants of she who thirsts. You did fuck up pretty bad, Erlot. It's true. You, uh, your kind made a mess of this, as they tend to do. Speaking of mess of it, hello, Mr. T-Posing. The servitor there, he's a bit busy, T-Posing. Aggressively. Locking eyes with the little icon of the Mechanicus. Hatred is strangling me like a snake, and fear is coursing through my body like a burning poison. For the path I chose is leading me down the roads of failure. I can neither hold back my grief, nor rein in my anger. And yet... I am powerless to stray from my path. <sighs> Pay no heed to my fleeting wrath, Anantok. When the will slips away, 
The soul trembles with rampant emotions. But I will resign my heart to meekness, for there is no other way a marked outcast can help their fellow Eldari wandering in the dark. Right, and so continues the taming and petting program. Many terrible things happen to you, all of them your own fault, but still, you okay? I found myself in the Dark City after following the twisted roads of truth and lies. And although the truth blossomed like an ugly bud and scratched my soul with its thorns, I did find the answers to my questions. Those who come back from the dark of the webway will never be the same. But it is we who change while the surrounding world remains imminent. This thought gives me strength. Yeah, that's a long ass answer to say, yeah, probably fine. Cradock suffered an, un an, an unenviable, albeit unavoidable fate due to Eldar retardation. I am sorry, your kind are so fucking stupid. I have no need for your sympathy, Ellen Tuck. Besides, neither Monkey nor my dark kin found the decaying remnants of Kruderok. Perhaps all is not lost. Perhaps we may yet bring back what has been taken. And so where does the path of the outcast lead now, seeing as you're not outcast anymore, you're homeless! Uh, important distinction, did by the way. Being an outcast means that you've got a home to go back to, potentially. But being actually 100% homeless means that you don't even have that. So, Idolet, how does it feel to have absolutely no one in the entire galaxy? On the trail of a monkey called Caligos Winterscale. Even a worm may harm a wounded tiger by bringing infection into an open wound. And the wounds of my people have been bleeding ever since Kruderok's demise. The spirits of my kin need a poultice, a hope, not the executioner's sword already poised to fall. Well, in that case, I'd suggest you stop bombing words. Hmm. Happening on Zianus. The Lilithon is purifying herself of the corruption brought by the servants of Cylon Thrash. Gardens and birds, animals and people. Many are gone forever, and even more are corrupted beyond healing. But the Lilithon is stronger. This world will live. My kin are probably still looking for a means to enter the webway. May the Lilithon spirit aid them in this endeavor. Beyond the gate lies salvation, and perhaps even knowledge about the fate of Kruderok and the remaining survivors. All right. Mm, let's go through the option. <laughs> Look at me with disgust again, alien. Please, turns me on. Curtly, say nothing. <laughs> well, that's not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for something a little bit more vehement. The outcasts my path led me to had a saying. Let me translate it for you. If you fall off a cliff, grab the roots and do not ask if they belong to a weed or a noble rosebush. You are the root I grabbed, Elantak, because I fell off a cliff. My home world is gone. My kin are either dead or hiding no one knows where. By joining forces with you, I may be able to nurture a seedling of the truth I so deeply yearn for. Well, I'll have you know that I'm hopefully Poison Ivy. That'd be funny. I refuse to discuss this with a monkey. We are but traveling companions who happen to be following the same road among the stars. Do not even try to get under my skin. It will not work. Still resistant, huh? What do you wish to talk about? Mm, the words of truth sound like music. The all right, still a bit frisky, but getting there. 
And then Idira. They mean nothing to me. They're just words. A whisper. So quiet, I barely caught it. Like a feather landing on a pile of down. Something about damned ambitions, antiquity. Terrible antiquity. And chance. Chance through it all. Oh, now I have a headache. And the stupid bloody whisper wasn't much help. It wasn't, but hey, I'm quite used to your aid being, uh, you know, a little bit back and forth. Hmm. It was just my nerves playing up. Something about our little saint doesn't sit right with me, and I trust my gut. Oh, sure, she seems straight as an arrow and as predictable as a hangover after drinking. But when I look at her, something about her makes my brain itch. After that conversation, I tried to listen to what was being said about her. Beyond the door, what I heard was strange. Blood in her past, twilight in her present, and something like a star leading her. But where is it leading her? I saw several roads, and all of them frightened me. Well, she did kill Theodora, so there's that. If I knew, I would have told you. Hearing things clearly requires cooperation from the other person you know. But that cobra just hisses and spits its venom at me. I don't trust her one bit. Maybe you should warn her, Oh yeah, you go ahead and tell her the wicked Psyker has divined something about her. She'll be so pleased and grateful, and of course she'll listen to what you have to say. No, that would be pointless. And anyway, I'm not even sure what it all means. Maybe the danger is to her? Or maybe the danger is coming from her? Not regretting your decisions, are you? What? Uh, what? I was joking. <laughs> Yes, Lord Captain. I love to laugh. Don't worry, I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> it's fine. It's like, what, you're gonna kick me out of the ship? No, I clicked the wrong button. What do you mean button? Uh, interface thing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Never been better, Lord Captain. No joke. As soon as I stopped fearing for my life, even the voices in my head quieted down. But don't get me wrong, they will come back. And one day I'll find myself in a situation I can't get out of. But for now, I'm fine. And it's all thanks to you. It is. Hmm. You know, I think it's pretty ironic that my gift lets me see the future, when thinking about the future is the thing I'll do anything to avoid. Substances of all kinds, jokes, stories about their good old days. I hide under them all like a blanket. As long as I don't poke my head out, everything will be okay. At least, that's what I thought. But I'm tired of living other people's stories. I want to tell my own. I don't know when or how mine will come to an end, but I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that somebody someday tells at least one decent story about Adira Tlas. And I can't think of a better way to do that than by standing shoulder to shoulder with you. Uh, well, I sympathize with an arm's length being more appropriate, but we should keep up morale amongst the crew members. Then what are we waiting for? Get a scribe in here! We need to get all this down before we forget. But we have to make me more heroic and powerful so that I come out looking the best next to your other companions. <laughs> what do you reckon? How many wastrels have we slaughtered? A million? Stuff that. Let's make it two. Well, actually, I blew up an entire planet, so I'm pretty sure my body count is in the billions. False, Theodora. I'm not going to lie. I haven't. Maybe I never will. But I'm not hearing random voices anymore. And I haven't been calling anyone from the other side. No. All that's done with. After what you did for me, I can't let you down again. 
That's right, because I'll shoot you next time. Yes, sir, Lord Captain. We will. Of right, let's not mention the fact that Argento shot, uh, you know, Theodora in the head. I'll we'll keep that under our, uh, under our hat for a while longer. How are you, Catan Shard? You feeling good? Human shells are subject to external influence. Perhaps someone purged their memory archives? Someone. Or perhaps they simply do not want to access them. It is a shame that no new information was obtained, but no more are grateful that you tried. That is such a fucking Catan Shard, by the way. Okay, so nobody knows about the weird noises. Ah. I'm guessing that's why she's, uh, left. Because I never got around to actually talking to her. Raver. The Helmsman. Helmsman, 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 Helmsman. Where might a Helmsman be if he is not by the helm, which he is not? Ah, there he is. Can't say they do, Lord Captain. Doesn't ring any bells. Then again, remembering all the places Leo de Thor went is Epitaph incident. We've always had heaps of incidents happening on board, but... Through my implants, I feel at one with this ship, and I sense that, and I don't know when it happened exactly, it started behaving differently. It became more responsive, livelier. Yes, livelier is exactly the word. And when you said epitaph and incident, it just dawned on me. Pardon my bungle at a poor Lord Captain, that's all I've got to say at, uh, on that front. Fiery reckoning. Hmm. Treasury records. All right, did that give no more anything? I wonder. Ship-wide system failure of some kind into an epith had something to do with the ships flying better. The incident marked the beginning of us. Well, of course. The ship became better because of us too. These are all links in the same chain, but we cannot piece them together yet. Nomos. Understand. Realize. Comprehend themselves. We have analyzed the data with which you sated us, and we have recreated the sequence of events. Firstly, there was Epitaph. It is a world, but it is merely a case, a container, for something we cannot name and cannot understand. Theodora and this ship have been to that place. Something was lifted up from that world. A gift. A trusted priest in crimson. One who identifies himself as Amaran. Comprehended the gift raised for Epitaph, and from it he created what the Dekaba Dentibank lists as a tech blight. But that is not how Nomos came into being. We were not invented. We were not freed. We came into being by accident. Theodora's ambition. We were not freed. It's so a fucking Catan. It is so a fucking Catan. Theodora's ambition, the myriad mechanisms of the huge ship, Amarnat's Amar mind, the inquisitive attempts to comprehend and extract the dormant blight, the dormant epitaph, what lies hidden in its depth, and between it all, we slipped in, connected and emerged like an electrical discharge between the poles. Accident. Incident. That is what we are. We have no purpose, no history. Do you know what epitaph is? That data is gone. Deleted, erased, deliberately, but we cannot trace who did it or why. A tech blight? A gift, but a terrible one. You would call it a weapon. Theodora coveted it. She needed it desperately, but we do not know why. 
How is Amarnat involved in this? He desired knowledge. Theodora allowed him to explore the gifts of Epitaph, slaking his thirst. But we know it did not bring him happiness in the footprint of his slaked thirst, fear followed. The blessed Amarnat was involved in the birth of the spirit named Nomos, and who not believe for a moment that he could have been frightened by this miracle. It was not us he feared. He did not know us, but only suspected. His mental processes were occupied by the tech blight. That was what he feared. He wanted protection from it. The ship was an epithet. I'm going to travel aboard it, investigate the tech blight, and Nomos was born as a result of an incident. So how was it possible that no one in the crew knew the whole truth? The truth was hidden, deliberately. Your officer's memories were stolen. All the cogitator's memory banks were wiped. It took you feeding us the truth bit by bit for us to piece it together and understand. Who has the resources, the knowledge, and the power to accomplish such a feat? It would have been beyond the capabilities of the best Amanat himself, and he would have never destroyed knowledge. This story disturbs me. It sounds like an echo of the sacrilege whose name is the presence of ignorance. The spirit of Nomos must be protected from the encroachment of that power that tried to conceal the truth of its birth. You do, in fact, have a purpose, Nomos. Then tell us, what is our purpose? To be my servant, my blade are forced to be reckoned with. To simply live comprehending yourself in the world, life does not need a purpose to justify itself. To serve the light and truth and greatness of the Imperium. I mean, it's gotta be three. It has got to be three. I mean, that bad idea. If he is what I think he is, bad, bad, bad motherfucking idea. And this one is good. But this one's better. So, to be my servant, my blade a force to be reckoned with by all. A servant, a force. The chorus of servitors dutifully repeats your words, but seemingly without understanding them. Nomos is preoccupied. The huge cogitator continues to sing its creaking song, running unknown calculations. Blessed be this spirit. A great path and a great future lies before it, and we must assign, assist it on its way. Hmm. Hmm. Imperial Catan. I mean, I don't mind one either, but I think three. Three is... Is three heretical? Hmm. Hmm. Well, too late to change it now. My Catan. Not Imperial Catan. My Catan. Yes. So, I have a Warrant of Trade, an Inquisitorial Seal, and a Catan! Yes. I quite like this. I think quite, I quite like this indeed. I'm trying to sit down. I'm not allowed to. Well, that's tragic. Right. Well, that's my companion quests dealt with then. Turn seven people into five provisions. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a bit much, don't you think? I do need more profit factor, though. And I have loads of plasteel, but I do need more people. Yeah, proper fit factor. Xenotech for weapons? Nah. Rebels? Chemicals? Nah. Nah. Tycon's Diplomacy. Oh, that was that one. Okay, yep. Complete that one. Right, that should give me some more cash, right? Let's see. Is there anything new I could get? Well, I've kind of doubled down on the explorators. I can get a power axe now, so I'll get that. A uh, fancy arc rifle, why not? A force field admitter, sure. A focus melter gun. Yep. 
Tempestus Carapace. Advanced Medikit. Profit Factor 70, Jesus Christ. Yeah, he doesn't actually have any, any... No more data there, because, you know, I'm kinda dead and shit. Oh, you're the new boss, are you? Huh, okay. 66 profit factor? Good god. I mean, I wouldn't want the... I wouldn't mind the calibrated heavy stub or the fusion gun. Rate of fire 12 is pretty fucking kick-ass. I definitely would not mind the storm bolter. And the Drusians don't really have anything too interesting. Even the overcharged plasma gun. No, 4045. That is better. That is better. Judex. That's a good name. Hmm. These are so goddamn expensive. All of the tradable will be thir twenty-three. <coughs> ah, that's you. Twenty-three thousand. Well, it gives me like one or two more levels, and will still keep me way away from the calibrated heavy bolter. I feel like these are just not worth it because they're so expensive. Astartes Flamer, Holy Power Armor. Hmm. I'll just keep it saved up for now then, as I don't really know what I want. Speaking of, I should probably send some of a lot of this random garbage into stocks. As I do have a tremendous amount of random garbage now. Uh-oh. Where did that place my... Where did that put my plasma gun? Is that my plasma gun? Probably. And cargo. 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 Just loads of random ass garbage that I will never, ever, 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 ever at any point use again. I'll keep the sword for now. Right, that got me a focused melter gun. Um... Can you use that? Is that a one... No. It is not a one-hander. Not by any stretch of the imagination. It is not a one-hander. Right, okay. Never mind. I do want to have you have a... A pistol in addition to it. Something ranged. Or a two-hander weapon. Hmm. I haven't tried dual wielding before. Maybe, uh... Maybe we try dual wielding for shits and giggles. Argenta. 25 to 32, 70 armor penetration. I'm pretty sure the heavy melter is better than that, right? Dark Lance. Ooh. 60 armor penetration. Using ray, gun, run and gun the way against Fiddler Cutter. Nah. Where's the heavy melter? I know there's a heavy melter here somewhere. 
I really should go through my... That's not what I want to do. I really should go my, through my inventory and actually, you know, get rid of some of this stuff at some point. But I keep thinking, like, maybe I've overlooked something good and I shouldn't just throw it all out. Maybe some of it's actually good. Probably not. 21 to 28. Uh, no, that is actually better. Yeah. There you go. Big melting gun. 23 upgraded shuriken pistols. Yeah. Especially with Jay dead. I don't think I'm going to be needing that anytime soon. At least I can send some of the superfluous nonsense. God, so much garbage. Unironically, so much garbage. Okay, that's enough sorting for now. Can't be bothered. My patience is extraordinarily limited. Right. We've been going for a little bit longer than usual, even, and we've managed to clear out a whole area, so I'm quite pleased with today's progress. Thank you all very much for uh, watching, chat. Thank you for your super generous donations today, and today's victor, the Purifiers, who managed to uh, save Incendia Corder and uh, damn the damned bandit person, whose name I don't remember, even though I did read it dangling off his corpse hanging in the promenade a while ago. And I will see you all again tomorrow, methinks. Until then, have a very good night, chat.